Word up, my dudes. Here it is, another episode of Mix It Up on Mixer. It's episode 17. It is the one-year anniversary. Word up. Let's start this up here, too, as well. Bam! There we are. Episode 17 of Mix It Up on Mixer. This is the one-year anniversary of uh, Mixer.com. And uh, as you guys know, this is me, JT for real, though. JT for real, though, at Mixer.com slash JT for real, though. What it do, my friend? Uh, this is a segment of the Justin Taylor Taylor Show where we talk about broadcasters, broadcasting, and basically everything to do with Mixer. So, uh, and obviously people want to talk about, you know, Twitch streamers and all that stuff, too. That's totally fine. That's totally within the realm of conversation. So, word up, my friends. I'm glad to have you guys back. I'm glad to have everyone here. And happy, happy one-year anniversary to Mixer. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! That's how we do? Yeah, baby. Oh, baby, a triple! Oh, yeah! We're all in love with it. So, anyway, this episode, uh, since um, it's cool, we actually had a guest set up, and then I realized, well, first the guest couldn't come on, which is fine. But instead of bringing on another person, I realized it was the one year, and that I would be jabbering like I always do way too much, and that the episode would probably go way too long if I had a whole other person, and that episode 17, exactly, yes, episode 17, and that episode 17 should basically be just about Mixer, should just be about all the stuff that has to do with the recent year that had gone by, and the five or six months that now that I've been here, and, uh, and, and all the things that I've done there, I've done, that I plan to do, so if anybody has any questions, like I said, any streamers have any, uh, you know, have any ideas, comments, literally anything. Just, you know, if you, if you want to interact in any way, as long as it has to do with uh, streaming and broadcasting, get it done, my friends, get it done. So, uh, like I said, we're going to be hitting up, how does this green screen work? Oh, that's, uh, that's easy. I actually have a blue screen, which is funny, because uh, that's kind of where I'm wearing blue right now. See how you can see through? Uh, we, I was supposed to be wearing blue. Well, not supposed to, but... In, uh, in celebration for Mixer, the one year, is uh, you toss on a little bit of that blue blue. So, uh, so word up, my friends, word up. So uh, this is, uh, hey, for everybody who's here, let me help out the chat right quick. Booyah! Thousand merits for anybody who's uh, in Podcastville. Uh, I have a currency, which is free. You get it just by hanging out in my chat, and you, you can win it. There's all kinds of ways to win them, and you can, you can use that to interact with my, um, with my community, with me, with my games, all kinds of stuff. You can play sounds, but it's a neat idea that a lot of us streamers use, um, but we can talk about that as well if you ever have questions about that. But uh, a homie in the chat also asked how does this green screen work. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go too far into too much technical stuff because most of those things have already been covered, or it's just as simple as a quick little uh, YouTube video because that's, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but you know, you know how that works. It's essentially goes behind you. You 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 set the color. You know what I mean. You set your um like your video to that color, basically whatever if it's green or blue, and it removes that color from the screen. So in case you were like, what? What's that? How does it work? That's how it works. That's why people have the certain color. And then what you do is you just don't wear that color. <laughs> so, but in a perfect example is mine's a blue screen, and I'm wearing blue right now, so that's why you can see through because. I went into my settings, because that's, remember I was telling you about those all kinds of off-board stuff that you have to do when you're not actually streaming? That's one of the things I had to do. I had to go on, I had to go through, I had to go look through the actual, it's called similarities and all these different uh, opacities and uh, different settings within that, and uh, OBS and the open broadcasting software, you go through there, and you go to the chroma key, you add that as a filter, and when you do that, you go through all the different settings, you tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, until finally you can see through. Win, win, word, word. I don't know about win means what word. Um, there's a chance for win. Uh, uh, if like to be a model mixer. Um, well, okay. If, uh, I think you might say you'd like to be. So I actually, it's only about two, maybe three episodes back, I did an entire show specifically for mods and for people who want to be mods and uh, or that are already mods that want to know what to do and like, it, like if it's a you know like basically not to take it as a big deal but understand like it's really as much as you want it to be like if you really want to be like an intense part of someone's community then just be an intense part of the community and if you want to be like kind of the guy that just shows up and kicks it that's fine too um i i, I don't actually have any clue what careless is talking about there is no prize i don't know about winning so i, I don't know what careless is talking about um so i'm gonna just ignore that stuff because it's kind of a waste of time guys um because i don't even know what that's what they're talking about um, so anyway, 
Uh, we're in the next episode, just so we can talk about in the future, because we're going to be getting deep into just mixer stuff and just the year one stuff. Uh, I'm going to be talking about directories, some of the uh, unethical practices I've been noticing, and the good practices, which actually are helpful and help people, help streamers, and help you grow. And we'll be talking about that very soon. So if you're interested in that, I will be catching you soon on the next podcast or maybe the one after that, depending on what I have on, as uh, you know as guests. So anyway, uh, year one. Uh, just so you know, there's going to the the Facebook ads. This is just something I want to talk about myself really quickly. The Facebook ads have been hoard. They've been pushing it hoard, my dude. It's been golden, 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 my dudes. They've been just pushing it like crazy. And every day, every hour, every minute, there's been a new thing being like, yo, check it out. Come to Mixer. Check the hype zone. Check the ziz zone. Check out Mixer. It's dope. Mixer create. Oh, shoot. You go on to the Mixer. You know, you go on to your uh, web page or your actual home page, I mean, on, when you're home on your Xbox. Boom. Right in the corner. There's that dumb orc going, thanks for the follow. Now, I've done an entire episode, so we're uh, on that. So I'm not going to talk much more about that. But all you have to do is hear me make fun of that again. Thanks for the follow. And you might remember if you've heard my past episodes or watched any of my other past shows, you'll you'll have you'll go, oh yeah, I remember when he was talking about that because I freaking hate it. I think it's like it sucks, and it and I get what they're doing. They're trying to bring in new broadcasters, but I don't think that's what we need. I think the new broadcasters are going to come pouring in because, like I just was talking about earlier, everyone thinks it's the new easy route to become like a cool like, you know, musician or an actor or something. And, and that's, that's it, it's like, sure, yes, it is, but it's just as hard, which means it's like thinking, dude, I bought the scratch ticket. Obviously, I'm going to win a million dollars. That's exactly what it's like. Like, and, and, and there's people out there, think about it like this. There's other people out there that bought a million tickets, right? They bought a million tickets, right? And you have one, Right. Now, not only do most people not scratch that ticket, <laughs> they don't scratch it, because that's all the people that are like, you know what, bro, I'm about to make my thing. You know how many people already who have come to talk to me that have been like, dude, I got this like, idea, I can't, I can't wait, hey, what's up, brother, um, what's up, man, uh, that are like, hey, man, I want to talk to you about things, I, like, I want to work out this idea, I got this thing, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome, dude, so how long have you been doing this? And they're like, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm gonna. And I'm like, wait, wait, you, wait, you haven't started yet? You know what I mean? Like, that's so normal. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just so normal. And it's a bummer because that's becoming, I feel like, almost the best advice, which is, which is sad, is, 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 uh, LaBeouf style, baby. Do it! You know, it's just, it is, you have to take that first step. And I don't want to say that, and, and, and like, I, I want to always make sure I'm not repeating the same old thing. This, no one wants that. No one wants to hear the same old thing. That sucks. Just hear, having me say things that everyone else saying, that's not what I want. That, that's not the reason why I'm doing this. And the reason why today I'm doing it, because the one-year anniversary, I want to talk about the updates. I want to tell you about some of the things I already noticed, some of the ideas that I want to do with those updates, um, and some of my predictions, which, so far, guys, have been right every time. Um, but back to what I was saying about the ads. They've been pushing Facebook like crazy. They literally been just hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. Going, hey, check the hype zone, check this, check this, bring in new people, new user, new user. And like I said, I was complaining about their new broadcaster acquisition, which they were so, spending so much time on originally, but they've pulled back a teeny bit and they've pressed more into the new user acquisition, which is what I've been waiting for, I think what we've all been waiting for. And I think, and this, I, and I'm not going to go into the predictions till afterwards, but just a little touch into what I mean um, until the end. But, but I'm pretty darn sure all of us who've been putting in the work whether it's been since beam time, and most of the people at the beam time are already got it. So that's not, I'm not even talking about that. But basically, the people have been here for this year. Let's say the mixer year. Because it's perfect. That's what we're talking about. This is the year anniversary. So the people that have been here this time, whether it's been that time, three months, six months, nine months, whatever. But the people have been doing quality content and working their butt off. And I don't mean the people that have just said, hey, I stream twice a week with two zero viewers. I don't mean those. But I do mean, and this is what, and I'm serious, I do mean the people that are like, dude, I've been streaming seven days a week. To zero streamers for the past six months i'm telling you those people right there they're going to kill it by the end of the summer because the skills they've earned and they've gained during that time because i'm telling you that's key most people don't realize that people give up beforehand it's already over they've either planning on it or they've given up after the after the first couple months or weeks or days and which is scary because it happened yesterday exactly people like grim grim is grim honestly Honestly, to me, is exactly a perfect example of what I'm talking about. By the end of the summer, I'll put I'll put all my chips, 
all my chips down on by the end of the summer, he, he's, he, he's partnered. And I don't just mean partnered, because partnered doesn't necessarily, isn't just, hey, I won. What I mean is taking that partnership and then taking the next steps. Because partnership isn't the end, it's the beginning. You know what I mean? It's the beginning. We're in an extremely long interview process, unless you're a hobby streamer, which is fine. But I like to what I like to always bring this up for too is is to remind people, and it's it's almost like a tough tough love. But I like to remind people: some of the guy, people out here are hobby streamers that don't realize it, and they're just kind of deluding themselves into thinking, "Yeah, well, I stream once a week for three hours. I might get lucky." And it's like that's not it, that isn't how it works. But anyway, I don't want to go too far into that. I like to bring it up. Because it's it's something that it's it's like that horse that needs to be beaten, that needs to be uh, you know the dead horse that needs to be beaten. It's like you know it, it almost has to be done, and but it's the worst thing ever. You know it's something I don't want to keep talking about, but it's like it's it just needs to be brought up. Anyway, back to the good stuff. Yeah, back to the important stuff that I wanted to talk about is the ads. And, and let's uh, let's just, let's toss this this on on the light just so this little sun in the distance here. Here we go. It's real light, real light. But bail over here. Anyway, um, I just want to get a better setup before I get serious about it. Oh, oh my God. Okay. And and remember, I already said this, and, and I will explain any tech stuff. I 100%, I promise you, I will cover at the end because most of those things are just a quick YouTube or not even a Google. Like some, most of those questions, a Google search will be better than my answer, like a tech answer, like a good cam. I'll give you my, uh, my opinion. But remember, anything that you can do a quick thing, I'll catch that at the end. Because, you know what I mean, it's, that's something that I'd rather you check it out on Google and then ask me. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but, but as for just getting a better setup, I have to go right back to what I meant. Um, I'm not being mean. And I'm not, being, I'm not picking on you in any way. But, this is, but I just want to be, I, I, I need to be truthful as heck. Uh, that is exactly what I meant when people have the excuse like like and and, and i mean this you, you just when you wrote that to me right then you just lost and i and I, it doesn't mean you can't win it doesn't mean that i just i'm telling you i'm hoping you up right now right because you just lost but you lost before you but you were told you got to see the future because the second you're saying i just gotta get this better thing before i get serious oh my god that's what everyone that that fails says that uh, you know and, I, and I'm saying that because I want you to I want you to succeed but that's what everyone that fails says they're like hey yeah man I'm about to do it I'm almost there my stream set up it's in the mail I'm saving up the money blah 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 you know what I'm saying you know what I started just like most people, and it's great because it's funny. Everyone that finds a little bit of success generally starts the same way. Just like Grim too. No, not even a computer. Never mind non-cam, but he prefers non-cam. That's a whole separate thing. We won't get too deep into that because we actually covered that on a previous episode. Um, it's actually just three episodes back where uh, Grim was a co-host. So it's a, it's a great episode, actually. It's posted in a couple of different places. But uh, so we won't go too deep into that. But but it's it's a great thing to go into. It's it's um and and, and there's a lot of good points that Grim has in that in that um in the in that uh that realm but uh but anyway exactly let's say you don't need a better setup uh, you can stream natively from you exactly no problems i did for a year and had over four thousand views exactly exactly and that's that's it's so easy that's that's 100 percent a perfect example of, of 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 what i was about to say it's it's all you need to do is just go with whatever you got that's the example bam because that's probably what you got right there and if you have a crappy computer Woohoo! Cowabunga, you know? <laughs> For real. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, that's, it's, if you don't, you got the Xbox. No matter, you're, no matter what, they've made it where you, you, dude, if you have a phone, you can become a YouTuber, podcaster, you can have a high quality, all those things, with just your phone. You know what I'm doing right now? This very second. Obviously, I have my mic above me. Oh, this is horrible music. I gotta get rid of that one. Um, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so what I did, I was like, that sounded horrific. Um, so what I did is I have my my Yeti mic above me, right? That's just for the sound you hear, and that's the sound for the the video, the vodcast, all that stuff. That's for every day. But right below, I mean, I, I just set it up nicely, so I'm not gonna lift it. But as you know, I was setting up my phone. I'm using a program that is uh, is actually setting my 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 voice into a million different places, just like Restream. So 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm using, doing everything I can. And this took time. You, my notes, like my notes probably took more time than, than some people end up streaming and saying, hey man, I tried today. It's like, bro, tried today. Did you take an hour walk? Like, I was cleaning. I was actually, I was trying to help. I Since the car was down and we just got our brand new car, uh, Missy had to take it. And I was actually stuck at home for a bit today. So I, was, I wanted to surprise her and have it nice. So I cleaned the, the kitchen and I did all the dishes. I did all the stuff and made the kitchen look all nice. So while doing that, I had a notepad out. And every time I had an idea, and, and mind you, while I was doing all that, I was listening to other podcasts like mine, or, you know, not necessarily this, but even just entertaining ones. But I'm generally consuming some sort of information or entertainment slash information to increase my knowledge on stuff like this. So I'm always going. And that's why I knew it. And that's why right now I know every single thing about the new up, the new updates and the cool new stuff for Mixer that are coming out so I can talk about it now because they took the time to not only watch that video but to take notes on it and then watch it again that explained all that stuff. I watched it three times. But like most people don't have that commitment. And most people, and I don't, and don't get me wrong, most people don't have the time and neither do I. But I had to make it, and that's because I sacrificed it. Like, remember, this is a perfect uh, actually answer to the question that's asked me a lot. Do I play games off stream a lot? Yes, I do. But now, lately, I feel bad about it every time. After an hour or two go by, I'm like, oh my god, I didn't stream this. What am I doing? Why didn't I spend this time working on the stream? Like, and it's a bummer because that's a, that's a, that is... That is the nature of the beast. If you want to be a streamer, you have to sacrifice. And this, everyone says this, and this is another thing I'm not going to go deep into because other streamers say this. But you have to sacrifice your, your, you know, your love. And it doesn't mean your passion has to get snuffed. It actually can be inflamed. Your passion can be exploded. But you have to do it on the altar or on the on the sacrifice or on the corpse of the of of the of the love for just casual gaming. That. Is yours is one of the sacrifices, and that's a thing too. Most people don't think that's a thing. How's it going, Stranger Agra? Just in the middle of the uh, podcast. If you have any questions about, um, uh, you know, Mixer, obviously, or or even the new stuff for this year, I'll be I'm going over them right now and talking about some of my um, my thoughts, my predictions, um, a lot of the things that <coughs> that that are that are going to be coming over the, that the past six five to six month and the next year to come because this is the one year anniversary of Mixer. I'm not sure if you do that. Um, Need to make sure you have a wide connection. Oh yes, exactly. What like Grim was saying, that's that's great, great, great tech advice. Like having a, a wired connection and stuff is is something some people don't realize that it's it's as simple as uh... oh word. Well, I got you covered, dude. I got you covered. I'll go over them right now. Um, so there's a couple of the, so here's the basic stuff that was already that, there's some things the beginning ones I'll be bringing up bring up right now are ones that are, I think are a little basic that most people are going to be like oh yeah obviously I know that so it might seem a little bit redundant but you'll see what I mean like uh, like the Facebook ads that's something that no one cares about I was just talking about that myself like they obviously weren't like hey we do Facebook ads these are just things that I'm like hey guys they've been really pushing that meaning there's going to be a certain level of people coming in certain level of new users uh, that's why I think some of the hype areas are particularly important. Only right now, they're probably they'll lose importance very soon, and they already are starting to. But because because as you guys talked about, there's a new one, there's a new hype zone, Rainbow Six. Here you hearing it here. Some people haven't even heard it yet. But uh, it might, I don't know if it's coming out tonight or tomorrow, or whatever. But they're rolling it out. With the, it's very soon. It might even be today. Um, the new hype zone, a third hype zone for Rainbow Six Siege. Um, obviously they don't have a battle royale, so it's, <coughs> it's going to be for when you're in overtime or late round games, whenever it's getting getting intense. So people who rock that game will now have a chance to get additional hype exposure on Mixer.com. You heard it here, my dudes. Uh, anybody who's down with that siege, word up, my friends. Um, oh, see, it's already live. That's awesome. See, I haven't. That's the one thing I haven't gone to look at the new new new. Oh, have you seen the new thing too? Um, you, you'll be able to check it out right now if you haven't. The only thing I've checked is the uh, front new overlay of the of the uh, of the actual website. Did you change it? You can opt in. That's the one thing too that, that that you can do. If you go into your manage, like right now. So if anybody's listening to this as well, uh, and you want to check it out, and you you have to be pro. Remember, okay, great, great. So so Grimlock already knows, but if anybody doesn't know, if you're a pro uh, pro mixer person, you just go, <coughs> you know, uh, subscriber. You just go up to the top, manage channel, go to the bottom, 
and it's it's right at the very very bottom and it's like uh what is it like page theme or whatever it is but you change it to anniversary so what up soft kill what's up brother modern rituals what it do <laughs> oh thanks brother oh thanks guys word my dude good, good looks good looks how's it going modern uh just just kicking it just right in the middle of the uh the old podcast and uh getting in on mix up on mixer episode 17 um under account there we go my dudes there we go so, uh, so anyway, <laughs> most people know this already. Oh, good looks, brother. Thank you for the host, my dude. Dizozu, thanks, my dude. So, four-man co-streams already understood. I'm going to burn through those because who needs to really go? We don't need to go deep into that because that's something already obvious. But the four-man co-streams, the controller share, in case some people don't know about that, that's something that they finally kind of got to working. And that's part of the new update, too. They're making it actually perfect. Like before, there was a lot of issues. It didn't work that well. They're going to make it where it is just like it was, the idea was. Where like, hey, there's a second controller where they can play other games with you like you're sitting next to you. That was the original idea of the controller share, and they're going to make it more, much more easy. Happy Mixer Anniversary, baby. Word up. Elbow Deep, what's up? Words of Green. What? Were they not always? What's up? Is that a new thing? Oh, see, I can't. Oh, it's so funny. I'm, I'm, I'm not using the pop-out chat, so I can't see right now. Let me let me, let me me do that. Plus, there's... Oh, this would have been at the end, even though it doesn't matter. There's some new emotes. I know that. And the other thing they're giving out is if you buy... This is a weird thing. All partners... I, I'm going to cover this because I didn't really want to cover the partner stuff because I figure other people will. And I don't, since I'm not a partner yet, I don't want to be like, hey, I know a lot... I, don't wanna, I bet I won't know as much, obviously, as other partners, so I don't want to go too much into it. But the obviously public information right now is that... Any partners right now get during this promotion time get ten percent additional for any of the stuff that they sell. What up, dog? What up, Tony? Um, <clears throat> any other thing that they sell uh, through the direct purchasing stuff? You know that new direct purchasing? There's like a button on top of the game. Like let's say you're playing Fortnite and someone's watching you. There's a button at the top where you can push it and you can immediately go and like buy the founders pack or things like that. Now, one of the things they're giving away during this promotion is if you spend $10 through one of those, basically, like, and it's kind of cool. What I like about it is talk about promoting, hey, other streamers. You know what I mean? Like, hey, that's really promoting some of their uh, partners. Like, I love the idea of it. When I read it, I go, you know what? I'm such, like, a stickler in assuming people are trying to be shitty and just, you know, trying to trick someone. I'm like, I'm always assuming that. I'm like, you're up to something. You know, like, Mixer, like, if they're doing something, I'm like, I'm always looking for the trick before I, I see the good part. I'm like... I don't see the trick, and then I was like, wait a minute, I only see the good part. Like, like obviously, it's not like the best deal in the world, but that's the point of it. It's just fair. It's like, yeah, you don't have to do it. It's not a huge deal, but it's going to bring people directly towards the direct thing, which means it's going to bring direct revenue towards the people that are working hard towards this stuff, and it gives a benefit to everybody. It's, it's actually, I really like it, and it's like I said, I think you have to spend 10, and you get five back, essentially, but... I think that's really freaking great, and I like how that is. Happy anniversary, baby. And absolutely, just like Grim was saying, the other thing is 90 days of pro for anyone who signs in as pro um, over the next three days, or already was. And, of course, just like previously, that other gift, we got another one of the free partners of again. Um, and we got that one for, what's up, gamer? What's up, bro? Uh, pro, that's why, like, anybody has a purple name. That means they pay, I think it's, what, $7.99? Seven ninety nine. It's a monthly fee where uh, <clears throat> where obviously your your color changes and there's things like this. Like you get, like you can see things earlier or um, you have access to Lightstream Studio, which that's actually in this list of things that I'm gonna burn through real quick. Mixer Create popped out. As you guys know, that's essentially an easier way to do Mixer on the go. So if you guys want to just go bam, do IRL streams, or obviously if you just want to be able to do, like let's say you're playing games with a friend, and but you're at their house, and you, and you just really need to get on, and you need to affect, uh, talk to your community, and you need to interact, and they want to see what you're doing, or you're working out or something. Plus, speaking of that, I'm going to probably start doing some more things. I This is something kind of funny a lot of people might not know, is I used to be a very heavy dude. Very, very heavy, like 300 pounds. And actually 300. And uh, so I was a really heavy dude. And I, uh, with my completely 100% my own, uh, like, ide like, ideas on, you know, how to work out and, and diet and stuff, I brought myself to how I look now, which I'm going to get a little weight. But I lost, like, you know, 80, 80 pounds over a very short period of time. And so I'm thinking, and obviously, since I've been streaming so much, I have been completely cutting back on any sort of working out regimen. So I think... In order to do that, I'm going to get back into that. I start doing that more you. and more. Hey, what's up, my dog? What's up? Yes, exactly. Like Grim was saying, gives you access to beta programs like the new front end, light stream, double sparks. Yep, double sparks and XP, which it, it's funny. When the ads come in, they'll allow you to skip them. And I love that because that also means on the back end, 
all the partners will be then getting specific ad revenue and that's amazing too because even though I am not one I pref I want the best for all my fellow homies that have worked their butts off because yeah there's probably a couple people that snuck in the back end but who cares there are so many people that that have worked so hard it's like it's just great there's no way it's impossible to not be happy you know what I mean there's too many it's like the, the good too many of the good guys win in this situation so it's just great you know what I mean and and yeah yeah but it's, but the, it'll be talk about how how increased it will be because they'll actually be continually ad show so that that type of payout will actually be something worthwhile which is a great thing you know what I mean it's just it's just win-win you know it's win-win um so, so Mixer Create, basically everyone knows that. Like I said, I don't need to go too deep into it. But Lightstream Studio, just in case people don't know what that is right off the bat. What's up, my dog? What's up, Master DJ Fire? Mixer, uh, I mean Lightstream Studio. I'm going to glaze over it real fast. It basically allows you to have overlays and all that. Not everything, but overlays and things like that that you would want to have, um, you know, that you would need a computer for. But you don't have to. You can do it with your phone. You can set it up to your phone and you actually change it and activate it and do basically the stuff you would do with a computer, except you can do it with your phone through your Xbox for native Xbox streamers. So you can have all that groovy stuff like overlays and sounds and gifts and all that extra stuff is is you're able to do through your phone and it's kind of dope. Um, what mixer streamers do you watch? Um, I have a, it's funny, I have a lot of friends on here now. So now it's just honestly, it's such a gigantic array of people. It's be, it'd be hard to just name somebody. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet, Careless Dig. Uh, we'll get into that afterwards. Um, so, let's see. Direct purchase. We just talked about that. Uh, that's one of the cool things. That's, that also didn't exist originally. That's one of the things that came out this year. That's why we wanted to talk about that. Oh, uh, what's up, Showfield Kid? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Um, and then Shows by Mixer. That's something that's pretty obvious because anybody that's been around that does this generally sees this stuff. But uh, Mixer, you know, has been making a lot of their own stuff. A lot of their own content. A lot of their own... Um, obviously, it's you know, opinion, depending on whose opinion, who's saying it, but high quality from most people's opinions level shows. You know, they have them all. You don't need me to go through them, but yes. Uh, what are those things? What's up, Doug? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, brother. Uh, Daily Failure, what's up, my dude? So anyway, uh, one other thing I wanted to pop into, too, before I got into the actual uh, points of, of what I'm thinking about, the thoughts that I have, the other things that they have in, in, uh, in the future, is the interactive stuff they're changing majorly. Mix play almost needs its own episode practically. Uh, mix play is also what I think is the next big thing because I mean it already is the next big thing, but what I mean is I think the innovations behind it are going to be way crazier than just yeah, 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 an interactive board at the bottom. Because already, what's up, indulgence? What's up, daily? Uh, what it do, what it do, homie? Uh, right now, as most people know, there's an interactive board, right? Well, just in case people listen to this and you don't know, but most people already know there's an interactive board. So it, you push it, there's little buttons that you push that do all kinds of various things. Depending on the streamer, they can set it up to play sounds, GIFs, give information, um, play little games, all kinds of things, right? Most, most of it is basically that stuff, but you can get deep into it. Like I've heard some streamers uh, have it set up where you push a button and it changes all the lighting behind the person, or you push it and it moves a robot in their room or turns on a camera in their kitchen. Stuff like that. So some people get real deep with it. My whole the, the whole thing is that they're changing now. The one of their biggest biggest that I think uh, new new updates is that the interactive board is now going to be on screen and you can calibrate it to also look like the game and stuff. So like I was saying, like I was explaining to Missy earlier, like hey, she was like, oh, what do you mean? I was like, okay, imagine something like this. It's not like it's kind of a quick example, but let's say um, you know in Fortnite you have all the guns or whatever, you could have those, the buttons look kind of like that. So if someone clicks that button, like let's say you have an option like, hey, anytime you want me to change my gun, I'll change it. So you can have it where you click on the actual gun that, that's in the inventory and it'll be like, ding, you know, or whatever you want. You can have it be like, yo, pick this, whatever you want. But the cool thing is you can calibrate that specific thing any way you want and it will be on screen instead of a, instead of a big colorful or gift whatever whatever wacky button it won't be that it'll actually be on screen now and and and, and obviously there's um tons of ways that'll be either it could be a side thing on the on the actual um like a bar on the side or or it'll be tiny buttons like i just mentioned on the actual screen itself that change as the scenes change it depends on how deep you want to go into it but there's going to be some crazy stuff and apparently depending on how good you are with like java or html those if you're dope at those two things then this is your new world baby because that's what it says right in it. It says like, hey, yeah, it's gonna. It, obviously, there's gonna be. T now, this is just me telling you anyway, because everyone's gonna say this. There's going to be. Ever since 
freaking MySpace, baby. There's been, you know what I mean? Ever since then, there's been third-party people hopping up day one to be like, hey, everybody that doesn't know how to use HTML or any sort of coding, here's a program. So all you have to do is type in some words and say, I want mine to look dope. And bam, your stuff has pink and it shoots stars and does whatever. You know what I mean? So don't worry, everybody out there, when they see that or hear that, oh, no, I need no coding. And no. Just wait it out. It'll be a couple days, couple weeks, couple months, whatever it is. But there'll be plenty of third-party programs to help you figure it out. That I can guarantee. So anyway, before I get too far beyond what I saw recently, and this shows the expansion, the, uh, the, the just the whole, the, just it was just a great experience because it reminded me of basically why I'm here. It, it, it was kind of like just seeing the end. You know, it was like checking, it was kind of, it was taking a look at part of the finish line. And I don't mean the finish line, like, oh, it's over, we win. But just like, kind of, you'll get what I mean. When I went to PAX East this past, uh, a couple months ago, uh, they, Mixer had, obviously, we've talked about this before, it has this, it had this, oh, uh, big, gigantic, um, uh, what you, booth, I guess you just call it there, but, you know, area, it's a convention area. But uh, they had a booth that was bigger than just a booth. It was probably four or five, uh, you know, vicinities worth, because all of them, you know, they only have these little blocks of space. But anyway, it was awesome. The amount of partners there that they must have brought in and obviously flew in there were probably, I mean, maybe hundreds. I mean, it was it was insane. And it was cool because I have a pretty darn good memory and I watch a lot of these things. Uh, I mean, watch a lot of uh, these things. A lot, watch a lot of, um, like, um, you know, even like the, the feature stuff. Like, I pay attention is what I mean. Like, meaning not actively watch, but even when I don't, watch somebody personally, I recognize their face. That, that's what I mean. So when I went there, I was like, jeez, I didn't recognize you, 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 you. know, it was like every person I recognized. And it was pretty awesome. Because I was like, wow, they've got all these people here. These are just people I see on the regular. These are chill people. And then I got to see how, um, how they, you know, how they ran things, how the live hype zone was. I actually, it's so funny because I went to the live hype zone. This is just a funny little story. Anyway, I went to that live hype zone and I got the shirt and stuff and I played a couple of games. I did pretty good. Um, but people have now come in my stream and come through and hung out that have said, hey, wait a minute, I saw you in the hype zone. And that's the funniest thing ever. Because I, for one thing, tons of people went on that. But it was just like, wow, how, how funny is like just how things work, you know? Obviously, I was out to a couple thousand people and stuff, but that means just in, and then how, th how things happen to be, they and going through games or maybe watching hype zones whatever they just found their way to my stream and then recognized me and it's just that's cool because that little bit of just going out and and i took that one day i can only go one day but i drove there luckily i didn't live too far you know but i got to was able to drive there since i lived close enough and i was at least able to experience that one day and seeing all that stuff and seeing that just all the cool things and feeling definitely at home i was like this i I know for a fact, I, there's no way, no way, I'm giving up, you know, and no way, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna not try my hardest. And like I keep saying, I'm, I'm going to press so much harder in all of the ideas I already have currently. And I highly suggest anybody out there right now, if you think, look at, just take, take a step back and look at your game, you know, look at everything you've been doing and be like, wait a minute, okay. Like, whether it's been a day or a hundred days, go, okay, what was working, what isn't working, and remember to cut the fat, because that's something I, I occasionally have trouble with. I always have to remind myself of this, is sometimes I'll have ideas that aren't working, you know, that aren't, per or aren't perfect, because that's a big part of it. Like, sometimes I'll switch up, you know, like with bringing people in on squads sometimes. Sometimes if I don't prep it right or don't talk people up or even set the queue up or whatever, it ends up being, you know, me waiting after, let's say, especially after playing solos where there's waiting a time of seconds and all of a sudden I'm waiting five to 10 minutes in between per game and that's clear because I'm not doing it right. And if I just said, okay, whatever, who cares and did that every night after every night, the quality of my content would go down not only for people watching, but for me too, because I would just be like, oh, I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's very easy to fall into a little bit of a hole and not realize you're in the hole, and then the hole becomes a pitfall, you know? So just as a little side reminder, take a look, glance at everything, and be like, hey, is there anything, is there anything in my game that's a little weak? Or, not even cut, but is there something in my game that's weak that I have been kind of not paying attention to because it's old like me? 
perfect example. Don't get me wrong. I know that I got a lot of weak stuff in my game because of the other things I put too much that I have really strong. Some things I put too much effort into, so I need to work on some of the back end. Like, uh, like, I'll, like, I'll, you know, I'll tease myself a bit. My, uh, whether, even though, let's say, even like an overlay or something I made just days ago, my bio, which is extremely important, my bio info inside of my, in my mixer is, 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 is literally the, the same thing from my first couple weeks of streaming. That's bad. It does, even though it's, it's passable, it's not awesome. And I want it to be awesome. I want someone to go there and be like, whoa. And you know what I'm saying? So like to me, that's a that's a little bit of a that's a value that's a le that's a relevancy that I that I that I need to remind myself of that that it might not be a big deal, but obviously when you start to grow, no God, it's like bad. It looks bad. No, but you know what I mean. It's like it's something that you need to pay attention to. But like I said, I don't want to go too deep into it. I wanted to also bring I wanted to bring up the Paxis thing because it's something that shows. Yeah, Beam was whatever. I don't really know how big that was. It clearly had to turn into this, and now Mixer itself is becoming way big because listen to this. Listen to these numbers, guys. Okay, over 10 million active viewers, right? We had over 10 million active viewers in December, right? That's December. So 10 million active viewers in December. Now, this is, now obviously, this is Mixer themselves claiming this, so... It's not me making up numbers, and it's not anybody that's not from a random source. This is Mixer themselves saying this, but they are now have four times the amount of viewers since then. Simple math to me says 40 million, but anyway, let's, we're not even going to worry about that. Right? You know what I'm saying? 10 million, right, bro? And then think, 40, four, four, four times, right? So they're saying 40, 40, 40 million now, right? Isn't that crazy? Now, like I said, who knows what the... What, how that may work a little bit differently or whatever or if it's exact but crazy right because talk about exponential gain that because at 10 million is pretty crazy but then to think in the short time of what what four months five months it's been another four four you know 40 million or thir another 30 million or whatever depending on what the exact numbers are, are you know are. but but you know what i'm saying you know, that the millions don't matter the growth does. Now this is now this is what I think now this is anyone can take this their own way. Old JT for real though is gonna say his point, and you guys can take this as as you will. But here's the other part of it. Now, and they say this like it's a good thing. That's what's a little weird, right? They're saying this is like it's a good thing. Now, five times as many watched channels. Five not you know, than before, let's say whatever it was, ten thousand now it's fifty thousand over whatever it is, but it's five times as much watch channel. So I was like, Yeah, word, that's great, right? But I was like, Whoa, wait a minute, whoa, whoa. But that's way more people being watched now. But then depending I just don't know the numbers, that doesn't really explain like that's just a weird number if you're not explaining the active users, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what that number is. Now is that something where more people are just kinda of locking into channels than there are people coming in? I don't know. I like I said, I don't know. I don't know if the first number is amazing. That's just great. The, the viewer, the increased viewers, that's just woo, yeah, for everybody. That's just obvious. But the the increased watch channels specifically, I wonder if that's good or bad. I don't know what if that number like to them. Obviously, yes, yeah, cool. More people are being watched now. Obviously, it's gonna be obvious with the increased gain of people. But I'm wondering, is that mean like? Hopefully, we're probably not. Yes, I, I don't. Oh, oh, we're talking about being on Twitch. Who knows? As for that. Who knows? Uh, what I think is by the summer, the end of the summer, they're going to be an incredible contender, and by the end of the summer, we're really going to see what, where they're at. I think that three percent that we were talking about recently of the, the of the average viewer size of the entirety of the entirety is supposed to be three percent of Twitch. I'm I'm betting that's ten percent by summer, end of summer, end of summer. Remember, this is all end of summer pr prediction here. I don't think there's any chance they'll have before him. Okay. So anyway, but real quick, that's just, with the Paxi's thing I brought up, I just, I want to see all of us, all the people that were working their butts off and that have been spending that time during, now whether, like I said, like what I was talking about with Grim, whether it's been months ago, be, almost beam time, or it's even some of the new homies that have been here for three months, and down to the homies that have been like, yo, I just started last week, I got 10, I have, you know, I have 10 views or whatever, and I mean 10 followers and no one viewing. I'm telling you, even those homies there, if you if you don't stop 
and, 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 and I have to put a disclaimer. The disclaimer, I, I hope this is obvious, but I know it's not. The disclaimer is, you also have to have quality content. And when I say quality content, because I understand some people hear that and they just go, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone says that. And since everyone says it, they glaze over. So I'm going to hit it hard, real hard, real hard. What quality content means is something that not only you yourself, but your friends and everyone else want to watch, or at least anyone that has interest in this, you know, that category wants to watch. You know, I, mean, I understand your grandmother may not want to watch anything, but you get it. Anything that has value that someone wants to watch. Now, remind yourself, please, God, remind yourself what that means, what that means. And I'm drilling this home on purpose. Remind yourself, because some people will sit there not saying anything, not doing anything, just playing a game, doing nothing, not even playing a relevant game, just basically pushing a button and basically record, like anyone could have turned a VHS recorder on playing Nintendo, that didn't blow up, you know what I'm saying? Because that's Because that doesn't matter. Because someone blindly playing a whack game, does it do doesn't matter and i think some people still think doing that is is like yeah why aren't i getting the growth now if you're doing that it's not gonna work so as long as you and, and, and it goes both ways you don't have to be super niche you don't have to create a character you don't have to be the biggest guy in the world i just mean you need to have equality whether it's your fun entertaining interactive comedic uh skillful whatever charismatic whatever your value is learn it and strengthen it and remember if you don't have it then that's the same thing as saying hey man you can't play music you can't be a musician you got to learn a learn an instrument learn an instrument and then if you're good at the instrument then you can see if you can become a fa famous with that instrument but you need to practice first and you need to learn the instrument and your instrument right now is your voice and your gear and your game and your controller those are your instruments, and you need to create a symphony of streaming. You know what I mean? And if, and if it sounds like crap, you're not going to have people listening, you know? So, you know, I know I like to always, you know, put a fun spin on what I'm saying, but I hope you understand what I mean because it's important. So, anyway, the new mixer.com, will it help out the new small streamer? That's a question I'm just basically asking out to the world because I don't have the answer for it and I don't know yet. I haven't taken a look at it, but I'm very curious how, because there, there's going to be a new overlay, a new setup, and a new way for them to feature. This, all of it's going to be new. So I wonder, I, I like to wonder because they didn't tell us, is the weekly thing still active? Is, is you know, our partner streamers going to be more or less partnered, I mean, stream, uh, featured. Are th is there going to be a larger array? Is it going to be more difficult? Less, you know, I mean, there's, yeah, I'm wondering. And I believe there's going to be a lot more directories, like directory-specific things. Um, uh, maybe, I wonder if I know about that, but there's going to be a lot more directory-driven stuff. I, I, I remember thinking that directories are going to, oh, that's why. They're going to spread out directories to, uh, you know, the like controller share, and they're going to filter out directories much, much, much more specific. Now, that brings me back. Uh, we're going to talk about this in the future, but that's why I want to bring this up now so we can at least have it said and talked about and open out in the air, is w are these things going to help or hinder? Because they, some of them can sound really good. And don't get me wrong, I, don't, I really don't think Mixer in any way has any sort of nefarious plans. Not, I don't think they're going to be like, ha, finally, we hit the thing we want, and now screw everyone. Like, I, I, I don't think there's any chance of that happening. There's no feeling of that. I feel like they know from a life and a human standpoint, but also from a business standpoint, the real way to build and the true way to grow and to stay forever is to, to be positive and to love everybody so they love you too. And I don't mean that in a cheesy way. I mean that like in a real way, even in a business sense. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know what I mean? You treat that person like king so that they treat you like a king too. You know? That's, it's, it's just, I think it's just smart business and, and what I mean business meaning like life it's start it's it's a good way to live life you know what I mean what's up mp3 brother what's up having squats um so I, I I just think those things are unbelievably important uh, so time will tell if we, either whether those new up those new those new break those new ways to see streamers or even the new channels are going to help or hinder but we'll bring that we'll go into that later uh I've already brought this up but the new look is currently opt-in only for pro only I've already brought that up in case you're a pro and went hey man what's going on what happened I want to. Uh, I want to know how to do it. You just go into your managed channel in your account. You go down and you and you you change it. You can actually see the new look of Mixer. I know it's brand new as of today. Um, you know what I mean? No, no, just rocking, just looking beautiful. You know how I do. Um, you know how I do. Um, so, 
mixed play, we're going to go back to that because that's huge. Uh, the whole mixer, like interactives and stuff, is now being rolled into this thing called mixed play, which is what I was talking about. The directors directory is going to start being a little bit more diverse because mixed play is going to start taking over a bit more. Because, you know, that little golf game that's happening now? Okay, I don't know if people saw this, but I did my the stream a while back of Late Shift. It's that movie game. It's that, you know, like the live action movie game where you just kind of make decisions. I played that recently on stream and did decisions and we joked around. They, they just brought that back where uh, you can basically kind of kick back and you're, and everyone that's watching makes the decision. So you can kind of watch the movie and the people, your viewers can, can do it. I've actually noticed people in this directory now are doing that right now, which is hilarious because it shows, well, JT always knows what's up. I streamed that last week. Of course, all of a sudden everybody's streaming now and it's cool. <laughs> of course, baby. Get going, planet. The whole planet needs to, needs to just needs to just watch my stuff and just just start going with it because, you know, oh my god, I, I spent gold. Look, look, watch this. No, let's see it. See, not lying. So either way, this year's advice, predictions, and personal goals for Team For Real Doe and my crew in general. Are, are, are basically what's on my mind right now and, and partially what today's, you know, to pay podcast is about. But that's 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 what I've been thinking about. That's what I'm going to be pushing into. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be working. Obviously, nothing is going to be changing with the stream. No, no time I'm going to be playing just as much game, just as many games, just as much Battle Royale, and nothing will be changing in the sense that none of the things I'm currently doing will be decreased in any way, in any way. And I think most people, as long as things are working, but if I want to bring stuff up, oh, no doubt, no doubt, brother. But, um, but I know what I will be doing is maximizing my time and acting like a machine because I understand the, 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 the bar has been raised. And I, don't, and I know there's no one really saying it other than I, other than me. I'm telling you. The bar has been raised, and a lot of people don't know it yet. But it's about to get more difficult, and I think and it's in a game that people already think is difficult. Because not the summer is going to bring the, the viewers from people being at school. All of a sudden, it's just going to pour in. But you know what's also going to happen? The people just toss it on the old Xbox, and their 30 random friends from school popping on and actually taking over directory is going to start happening. Random people that never streamed before are going to have enough social standing and social homies that are going to take over directories with one press of the button. And I'm, but and we need to, anybody who's taking this seriously needs to be so prepared for that, or it's going to be very, very unfair, very fast. You know, and and guess what? And I think I think people are really like being partnered early or something like that. I don't think that's going to insulate anybody. I, you know what I mean? Road to AK, baby, right? Right, <laughs> I'm a little far, I'm more like five, but I feel you. I like, I baby, I like your moxie, right? I like your moxie, right? Is that is that your number you're thinking for me, dude? Around eight, I was thinking about ten. I was thinking ten k is what I want. Oh, oh, summer, I ten is the number I want to think that that's when I can apply. Or should. I know most people have been playing early, and I think people can get it earlier. I just, I, I, I have a couple of reasons why. No, I mean, nothing major. Because, like, I could if I really wanted to. But I didn't, I didn't want to jump the gun. Because I, honestly, you know what it is? I didn't think that I, my, I, I thought, okay, they're going to look back. Because they look back about a month or two at all your content. And I was like, okay, let me think, you know. Like, going back in my mind, what would happen if I pop back within a couple of weeks or a month or two? Would I be thinking this is high quality? And I was really scared that maybe they might just randomly pick a couple random episodes. And I know that I have a couple low-quality episodes where I just was I was too tired. I didn't maximize my time. I was tired or salty or, or I didn't, didn't talk well not enough because I wasn't playing. Just I wasn't, like, there was times that I was not on and I went, oh, shoot. I forget I can't do that because I'm not think I gotta think about the future. I have to think every one of these episodes will then whether it's an episode of a podcast or it's a show or it's a or it's a game or it's an event or whatever it is, all of them need to be tip top perfect in the way I want it because it's all gonna be re reviewed. And not only by people like my friends, and I wanted to have a high quality for my community, but I also want to make sure people that are reviewing in the future, and whether, you know, maybe it's someone like, a, you know, some, some team or some game network or something that you really want to be a part of. And, and you want to be able to say, it's like having a portfolio, right? It's like being an artist. 
you know, a painter, you want to have a beautiful portfolio. So the moment someone says, hey, let me check out your work, you bust that piece out and they go, damn, son, where'd you find this? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that's just that's just how it goes, damn, you know? Damn, son, where'd you find this? You know, and it's like, that's what you want. Now, what you don't, and what I, I feel like, my portfolio is choppy. And I could be wrong. For all I know, like, I, I, I'm murdering it compared to the other people out there, like, you know, for, with their past stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. I do know a lot of my past stuff gets viewed a lot, which is really cool. But that's beside the point. You know, I still feel, I personally think I need to increase the quality for about two months of time, and then I'm good to go. Which I said, you know what? How about the end of the summer? I feel good about it. Even though I could probably, I could probably, um, I could probably just say whatever and just not really worry about it. But I like to set those a little bit of a goal. A little bit of a goal. You know, whether it's not, not, not an unattainable, but, but a difficult one. Because then, you, then it's because talk about feeling perfect when you get there. And if you don't make it, it's not the worst. You know, you don't fall apart, but you know, you, you try. You don't have to be like. No, I'm just playing. You know, it's chill. It's chill. <laughs> oh, I forgot for for any uh, the audio only podcast. I forgot. I was not hearing some of the sounds I'm playing. Sorry, guys. I'm playing some sounds between there. Have you ever heard me be like, "Hey," and stop for a minute? Um. Okay, that's hilarious. Okay. Can I, okay. I'm gonna jump into that, even though I wasn't planning on it. But honestly, that's a—it's actually you know that, that's kind of perfect. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, soft cap. Now, to anyone who can't read this, uh, that's audio only. He says uh, Mixer should have a pre-partner status, like the affiliate and Twitch, so people can start subscribing. Now, that is a hot topic. It is. Lots of people think one way. What's up, Dark Princess? Well, a lot of people think one way. A lot of people think the other. I actually think the other big time. Big time, big time, big time, big time. And it's funny because I feel like a lot of people are like, be like, why? Because I really, really think it'd be awesome for you. Because and, and and you know what's so funny? I think I am one of the people that would benefit from it, like huge. But I think that's the worst idea ever. I actually hate the idea. I hate the idea. I think it dilutes and ruins the partner program so bad that it's it almost like I, I feel like it nuked Twitch. I think that's half the reason Twitch is like mm, not really working. I think I think the CEOs and the people that run Twitch went Woo-hoo! and they got paid, and then the whole entire structure can't it is not working because of it. There's the, the whole point of partnership is is lost. It it's not as cool. There's no point. And and the and I, when I looked it up, dude, it's three viewers and like fifty or whatever or three hundred. It's some tiny amount of followers, and then. Three, oh, I'll explain, definitely, my friend. And then three active. For one thing, that's anybody. That's a joke to me, right? Right? So it's like, okay, so that means anybody under the sun that has three friends or two cell phones. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's even, it, what's lame about it, it's even, like, scammable. So how many people, because think about how many people, think about how people, like, I know people out there use game genies, you know, game genies, you know what I mean? There's cheaters, game cheaters out there. Never mind people that think, oh, I'm going to, like, get cool, because... There's people out there that will skis the system with a with an extra cell phone and a laptop. Hey, look, I have three people every day. Hey, look, I got the I got the the email, and it's lame because it's like cool. You got the email. That means what? Nothing. You know what I mean? It's like and, and, and it's a bummer because then there's people that don't really get it that think I got it. Like, dude, I got it. And that's kind of being that's kind of like walking into a store buying a soda and being like, dude, I got the soda. <laughs> yeah, you bought it. <laughs> You know, that's kind of what it is, and I, and I, I don't think people realize that. Like, they, they don't realize it's like a, a breeze. It's there's no, it's not a hard thing to do. And the minute you take away any sort of that, like, there's that removed so much barrier, and I think it cut. Like, think about all the people out there, right? Right, I bet, bro, I bet. And think about all the people out there too that are like, yeah, we got it. Now we're feeling, yay. Now I have. Three people giving me two dollars a month. You know? So it's like why? So that someone can make six bucks a month? You know what I mean? Like cause you gotta think think about the numbers real quick. And I don't wanna go too much into this because I, I I wanted to talk about my reasons, but I wanna really go too much into numbers and stuff. But think about the numbers. You would you need like hundreds, hundreds. Which means you have to have a community, which means having three active viewers is ridiculous. So it's like you know what I mean? It's like, so in order to be able to make money, basically, you you need to be able to make six bucks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, my whole thing is, 
for it to become a reason any right for it to become anything worthwhile anyway or anything that like you can build off of you basically have to be that partner level anyway so why give the why give this fake thing and, and I know why there's a reason I'll explain the reason why it's a scam Twitch pulled it's trying to pull a tricky trick 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 on everybody it's all, they have all these people right they went wait a minute why am I here when I can bounce right now to caffeine Facebook mixer blah 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 whatever Instagram whatever they go why would I why would I do that when this isn't working and they're like yo it's gonna work bro you're almost there. Look, you got three people watching and 50 people. Hey, hey, hey. Sign this contract that says you don't stream to other people as long as you're an affiliate for money and for money or you're kicked from the program. That's it's obvious. It's it's not even like you don't need me to tell you that. That's like like it's it, it's obvious. It's not like I'm telling you some secret information. This is obvious. Everyone knows this. It's it's hey they're just trying to lock people in to a skeezy little maneuver with the lowest, lowest payout. And in and in doing that, I, I think they ruined all the people up there getting partnership the first time. It's either, it, all it is now, it's either you make money there or you don't make money. There really isn't like, hey, cool, now I'm a partner, now I get to be part of cool events and, and talk, you know, like, it's not like that. It's just kind of like, oh, now I make more money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just kind of like you make money or you don't make money. There's really no, the barrier between the partner thing is kind of ruined. And it's because of that program. And that's, like I said, that's my opinion. A lot of people, lots of people will be like, dude, you're crazy. And lots of people are like, church. You know what I mean? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Lots of people will agree with me dead on because they know. And they've been there. Plus, like, what ends up happening is there's a lot of people that get tricked, man. And it's a bummer. It's not that people are stupid. It's just that people are excited. So they're like, okay, dude, I, 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 dude, I got it. I got it. And you're like, what'd you get? And you're like, you know, they're telling people, they're telling their friends on Facebook, guess what, everybody? I finally did it. And you're like, yes, what happened? They're like, I am the affiliate. And you're like, oh, oh, okay. And you're like, you know what I mean? And, and I get it. I get that it was fun for some people. But that's before, like, that only matters if you have a community. Like, don't get me wrong. There are people out there that are like, dude, I've been... I have hundreds of people, or even like 50 or 70 people watching, and they won't give me partnership, and this is bull, because I have 50 people that are like, dude, I want to sub to you, and now they can, and now they're making enough money to like survive. That Don't get me wrong. Me saying this doesn't mean that's not true. Like, there's going to be tons of, like, not probably hundreds of exceptions to the rule, you know? There's going to be so many people that are like, oh my god, my gigantic community that I, that I couldn't get partnered because of such and such reason that wanted to help support me now can and you, you know what I mean and obviously it makes people feel more more have a validity but it's back to the whole fall for fall fake number thing that I talk about all the time the people with those fake numbers it's just a number I could hold up I like I could hold up a business card and go hey look million you got million <laughs> you know what I mean and like, because essentially it's what it is. It's just a number. It's just a fake thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that same realm. It's that same realm, you know, where it's just, it's just for show almost. You know what I mean? It's almost for just the person. There's no, like, it's a, and that comes right back to what I always say. What's the reason why? Now, if it's just for fun, if it's for hanging out with friends, for a hobby, then heck yeah. Like, that's the best, dude. I think it's a, I think it's the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate program for everybody that's a hobby streamer, and the worst, worst thing for everyone that wants to make this their career. That's my thoughts. Because the career people kind of, it's like, all right, whatever, now it's just full of all the, and think about all the people that randomly now, instead of like subbing to their cool person that they really like, they're like, oh yeah, sorry, I already subbed to, you know, my buddy because I felt bad. You know, you, you know or whatever, you know what I mean? Obviously not that specific, but you know what I mean? Like just to sh Joe Schmo from Alamo because there's a billion options and instead of you, instead of going to you going for the cream of the crop, you end up just kind of picking something random because there's so much, you know what I mean? And that, and that, I feel like that affects stuff too because that takes away from the people that are working hard, you know? But don't get me wrong. Let's say the hobby streamer that's working tough because this is why I think, you know, it can work but not, not, I just don't want it to work for Mixer because I don't think it's going to work. So, but the only benefit I can see is maybe that hobby streamer, which, but that's the thing, I don't think you should be working with hobby streamers. I think the hobby streamers should just work hobby and then there should be all the benefits and stuff for people that are working hard. That's how it should work. But anyway, hobby guys can just be like, oh, okay, word. Now, I can slowly make small amounts of tips or small amounts of subscription revenue or whatever and just enough to make that 30, 40, 50 to pay for that new game per month. 
So then their hobby is paid for. And, it's, and, and then that becomes amazing. Then they're hanging with their, commu- their small communities, having a good time, and, and doing what they wanted, but also it paying for itself. Now, that's, that's, that's wonderful. But to me, that's not who we're talking about. That, you know, I mean, that's why I don't agree with it. Because like they've been, as awesome as that little situation is, that, for one thing, is not me and not a ton of other people. And I'm, like, I do this podcast... I do, I do all, like, I do all this stuff, and I do a lot of things for, for, for not for those homies, you know what I mean, like, I have advice for them, and I, and I wish them well, but honestly, what I'm looking for is to help increase other people that are looking to grow, looking to explode, looking to create something new, create, wanting to set their, you know, take their passion, and take their fire, and, and light everything else on fire with it, you know, in a good way, you know, the, you know, a passionate fire, you know, that's, that's what I want. The guys that are just like, yeah, man, I, I just want to play games sometimes with my friends. Like, that's awesome. And those are the people I want to play games with. But those aren't the, those aren't the people that this that, that this this resource is for, you know. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, mixed play. I'm gonna go back to that because I think that's so major and that's a big part of what the, this this whole entire uh, year update's gonna be about. And I think this is what it's gonna be about for like um, for the next. Uh, basically, all the innovations are gonna be connected to this over the next year. Um, like kind of like me and Grim have played many times on stream, killing, killing floor, uh, killing floor. It's an interactive game where you can put your mer- uh, your <laughs> merits. It's funny, put your sparks in to uh, help or hinder and do all kinds of stuff. You know, adding grenades, weapons, making creatures pop into the game. It's it's a really cool game. It's a first person shooter style. Blah, blah, blah. It's badass co op. All this stuff. It's a great game, right? Um, what could be recording? What? Let me do another one. Sorry, I did so long. One second. Track. Let's see. Done. Yeah, ad recording. Jeez, I'm going to do another segment real quick. Not yet. Jeez, I can't believe they just did that to me. Next. Man. Glad I noticed that, though, huh? Come on, man. Another segment, bro. Man, that would have been such a pain in the butt to, like, not know that. Let's see there. Come on, bro. Part two. Part two. There we go, my dudes. Part two. Part two of uh, episode 17 uh, mix it up on mixer. Sorry about that. Sorry for that delay. Part two, part two. Um, back to what I was saying. There's games that you can interact with already. Obviously, people know about this, um, like Killing Floor and, and uh, Darwin Project and various games like that. Some that you just interact through the interactive board for free, like uh, voting in uh, in in uh, Scavenger Studios Darwin Project, where it's a battle royale game where you can have things happen. You can uh, there's a director, kind of like it's basically Hunger Games, right? Where you can tell the director or tell the people to do various things and vote on all kinds of uh, outcomes. It's very cool. It's neat, but it's like, hey, be able to be one of the the, uh, the spectators in a Hunger Games where you can affect the game. Uh, but that is something that Mixer does, and that's going to be part of the mix play as well. Jeez, it's like, this is there now. It's recording. Why is it not recording? Slide your finger up. There we go. Geez, sorry. Part two of episode 17 of Mix It Up on Mixer. Word about my dudes. Year one anniversary of Mixer.com. Sorry about that super awful delay. Apparently my my audio recording in front of me wasn't working because you had to hold the button down for an extra second. I'm very sorry about that, and that won't happen again. Mix play. What I keep talking about, there's games that you can play on Mixer that are interactive. I won't say that 80 times since I already did it, but there's new games that are coming out. There's a game called Earthfall. There's a game called Next Up Hero. And like I was just talking about earlier, that game that game Late Shift that's a movie, that's also part of that as well, which means as this year goes on, they're going to be rolling out new and new, new and new things with that, which is kind of awesome because that just means... How many more games are going to be, you know, playing with people? It's just going to be more and more. Like, the, there's currently an interactive golf, a mini golf game that that our people are playing right now. Think about how kind of like goofy and small and low key that game is right now, and it's already have has hundreds and hundreds of people watching it, right? So if you think of it like that, Clyde, word up, brother. Thank you for that, bro. Thanks, Clyde. So think of it like that, right? There's all those people that are already in that. Imagine when that starts getting really good. Because trust me, I was taking a look at that Next Up Hero. It looked pretty darn cool. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, for, for, for a game where you can just have other people pop in, people that don't even have an Xbox or whatever can just go on their computer and start playing these games with people. So it's, it's, it's actually pretty great. There's going to be a lot more um, innovations of that, which I think is just is perfect. It's perfect. Um, so one of the things I wanted to touch upon before we get too too deep into the into hour two of uh, in, of this podcast because I wanted to keep it you know within like an hour hour and a half so I pulled the category one of Owen what's that brother what do you mean bro what category 
Um, I want to I want to talk real quick about some of my predictions. I don't think I'll be able to go. Over, I'll, I'll go over all of them because I don't think I have every single one like written down and, and fleshed out in a way that I wanted to explain to every people. Um, one of the people who stream with zero viewers. Well, that's 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 okay though, but that's fine, man. You're one of the people that stream with zero viewers. That's okay. That's because everyone starts that way. I mean, obviously, when I, I okay, when I started, and some people, hey, since this is the year anniversary, I did want to talk about a couple of things and uh, talk about a couple of stories anyway, and and even talk about my start. Now that I'm, I mean, I'm pushing almost my half year as this year is coming. I think I'm more at like five. But when I started, my original reasons for streaming in the first place is, was, hey, um, I know this sounds kind of funny, but I was like, hey, man, I think that if maybe I start streaming and I take this more of a serious like. Like, well, I was watching people on Mixer and went, hey, look at this. You know, that's to start off. I just kind of went, hey, now I have internet. Now I'm set because of me and Missy moved into a place. I go, now I'm just set up my Xbox. Now let me turn it on. Hey, what's this? What's this Mixer? Hey, look, you know what I mean? It was basically that. I knew what Twitch was, but I was never, like, a watcher of it. I just knew what it was. So when I saw a Mixer, I went, hey, what's this? Checked it out, went through it a bit, and went, whoa, this is neat. Then I went to a couple people's streams, and obviously, like so many people do, they went, I went, I can do that, and I can do that better. That's what I thought. Right away. I went, I can do that, but I can do that way, 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 way better. That's that's the, that's that's what got me to come on. But here's the thing. I also thought, wait a minute, it's a win. And this is kind of funny, but I went, it's win-win. Because now I have, I, I, like me, I'm, I'm weird. Like if I have a reason to do something, right, I feel like it's way easier to do, you know. But let's say like if I wanted to play a game and I wanted to play for a couple of hours, but Missy was like, oh, man, I wanted to watch this movie. I'd be like, oh, I don't, oh, no, no, no. I, I didn't want to see your bump, so I'd be like, okay, never mind. And I would just blow off, like, something I would want to do. But I, I know then it's easier for me. I could be like, oh, okay, well, no, let's fit a time. Well, I'll watch a movie, and then, we'll, you know, we can, we can make things more, you know, like, work well. You know, be a little bit more compromised. And uh, so when I started, you know, so I started playing, kind of thinking, like, I'm just going to be streaming, so it's going to be more serious. Literally within a probably a week or two, I well day one for first off is what I realized. But it took about a week or two to see what was going to happen. Day one, I went, oh my goodness! I didn't realize that I was actually going to really enjoy the idea of this and doing it. Not only did I like playing, obviously, but I liked I liked the grind. Now that's a big part of it. If you don't like the grind, and what I mean by the grind is not just the playing every day and, and streaming to to low viewers. That is not the grind. That's the fun. Like, that's what people don't understand. They're like, dude, it sucks. All I have to do is play with video games. I'm like, dude, you're playing video games. How about it suck? That's the fun. You're doing the best part of it. That's the good part. So it's like, the whole thing is, if if, if you're not, if people aren't having a good time at that point, they're, they're, it's a, they've already lost. It's another one of, lots, so many people don't realize they've lost already at the beginning before they, they actually started going. Cause just because they took this wrong thing, that's so funny. Well, you know, and that's funny, and that is a grind itself. And and it's funny too because you never know with that with Destiny Two. Like, it it really died in the directories right after after its launch, and it just no one really liked it as much. And people were building strong communities off Destiny as well, and then it kind of died out. But there's a niche, you know, like a little. There's an area for it. You know what I'm saying? It's subtle because it's not. But and with the new updates, it's starting to blow up a little bit more. It's, it's up to you what you do with that. Do you create events? Do you just play it? Or, now, like, 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 let's just, let's use this as an example before I go into my, my, back into my little starting history. Let's pop into this real quick. You play Destiny 2. Now, think of it like this. Do you, what do you do? Do you just turn on Destiny 2 and play? Because that's not going to do it. Because everyone does that. Think about it like that. Is everyone does that. You know what I mean? It's like, are you doing what everyone does? Think of it, just, just try to think of it that way. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so what are you providing more than the other guy? You know what I mean? Like, is it, is it, is it like, do you have it like, I, and I, I know sometimes I sound like I'm a jerk, but I, I, I provide a high level of personality. I know I do. It's, I, and I, and I provide an insight and experiences because I've had a crazy life. I have an experience that give me an insight that people don't have. And I'm not saying you don't or anyone else doesn't. I'm not saying that. I'm just good at explaining it and being a part of that and sharing it. Now you might have it too. I'm not saying you don't. 
Don't ever think what I'm saying means no to anyone else. But I know what I have and some of the things I provide. I also am very good at most games I play. So when I'm also being entertaining or, or kind of funny, because I, I have a natural knack for coming up with funny things or, or coming up with ideas. And I also, people enjoy enjoy my company from, by networking. So networking has become, I don't really have to do much of it. It usually aut comes automatically. Generally, people hit me up personally and want to do stuff, and that's awesome. But you definitely have to state that. Yeah, bro. And that's awesome, man. And knowing that, it sounds goofy, but that's the battle. Knowing that. Because you know how many people don't... You know how many people I tell that to? Get, go. All right, bro. Screw you. Like, no, no lie. Most people I tell that to go, why are you being a dick? And leave the room. All the time. When I try to give that advice. Because it sounds harsh... You know what I mean? It sounds like I'm being mean, and I and what I, I'm trying to be real, and and I'm being loving, dude. I'm literally looking out for people when I'm saying this stuff. So it's like some people are so far from knowing how to do this, and so bad socially that they'll take this so bad that they'll be like, "Yeah, right, you're wrong. I'm out of here." Like I I know what I'm talking about. You know, you know what I mean? As they're complaining about the zero viewers, and I'm like, bro, like. I'm not trying to say I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just saying my intentions are totally looking out for for you or whoever I'm speaking to. You know what I mean? That's what my, my intentions are almost always, always tip-top, you know? And yes, so taking it back, figuring out to capture audience. So when I'm saying, like, are you doing the same thing? That's fine if you're not something that's like a super hype guy because there's there's all kinds of room for chill guys, too, or, or chill girls. Like... You just need to know is that your thing? Because then once you go, that's my thing, you push into it. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, yeah, I turn on Destiny 2 and play it. It's like think of it like a job interview. All of a sudden, bam. Like think about it like this. This is I actually love this way. This is for everybody right now. This is actually a great tip. Freaking record this. Write this down. Because this is this is key. Think about it like this. Right now, this second, right now. Dude, guess what? I'm actually a billionaire. I've been planning this right now to, to, to basically save someone's life and bring them to a millionaire status. Right now, you're the person. I've been tricking everyone this whole time. I've done this just for this moment. I'm about to give you one, one, uh, one moment in time where you have five minutes where every single person in the entire freaking planet gets to see your stuff, dude. I'm pushing a button and I'm taking control of every TV, every single thing in the world, every phone. They're going to see you for the next five minutes. Go! What are you going to do? I bet we're going to sit in silence like this. I bet you money. Bet you a million dollars is what, that was what will happen. Is this. Is this. Is this. Guess what? You lost. And that's the bummer, man. Most people already lost because they can't. There's no way they can handle that situation. Guess what? You know what I do? Yo, what's up, everybody? It's JT for real, though. Let's get it in. Let's get it done. So which one do you want? Episode 20 or episode 1? Uh, what, what are we playing tonight? Damn, son. Where the, you know what I'm saying? I would have instantly turned on. Just like I did in the hype zone when I was live in front of thousands of people and... Probably hundreds, if not thousands, of people live, too, live, literally, physically behind me and around me uh, at PAX. When Hollywood, the guy, one of the guys that, you know, that, that, that works for, um, works for, you know, Mixer and stuff, came up and was joking, was I the guy that did this? Yeah, I'm gonna win. No, I did this. I went, yo, what it do, my friend, what it do? Yo, you about to see some of the dopest action you ever seen? And he starts cracking up, right? And everyone's like, ha, 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 that's funny, right? And then some, then the guy at the front goes, hey, dude, J, hey, he didn't say JT. He goes, hey, you. I didn't know who I was. He goes, hey, you. Is that the guy with the, uh, the Marty McFly hat? Is that a Marty McFly hat? And I go, I go, yeah, dude, JT Further, what it do? That's how I do. Immediately yelled out my name, said my, said my address, my, my, my you know, online address multiple times because tons of you were watching. That I also, at that moment, was then talking to the main people. The main homies, not like it's a big deal, but just it's a good thing because you're just saying hi. It doesn't mean who oh, cool. It just it's just it's a it's why wouldn't you want to shake the hand of some person that you want to work with before before you meet them or not? It's like that. I'd rather be like, hey, cool, have a little bit of interaction. So in the future, you'd be like, hey, guess what? A year ago we were joking around. I was that guy. You know what I'm saying? 
You, you know, it's you know, it's just it all matters, and it's because. When those little moments pop up, you need to be ready, you need to be willing. And like I was saying about, and, and, and you know what, the freaking out, guess what? You wouldn't have to freak out if you were prepared already. Meaning, if the questions I was like, you know what you need to ask yourself, if you had already answered those questions, you, you wouldn't freak out. You'd go, yo, I, I already answered these questions. When they go, yo, this is your moment, this is your time, you're going like, yep. Well, guess what? This is my time to blast out, you know, I, I, you know, my, you know, whatever it is. Like, I don't play enough Destiny, so I can't come up with that something. Generally, I can come up with some pretty cool ideas right on the spot. But, like, you know, this is my Destiny dust up. You know, the Destiny, this is, you know, you know, whatever it is, the Destiny, you know, battle event monthly that I've been working on all month, speaking to the different high, you know, very well-known or small Destiny 2 content creators, you talk to every one of them all month long, emailing them, Instagramming them, Snapchatting them, messaging them all the time. Hey, bro, you want to, hey, you want to come on to my tournament or do you want to come be a part of my, my Destiny battle thing? You know, whatever the hell it is, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, you've done that now all month long. And you're like, they're like, it's time. And you're like, word up. And, and like I said, it, it doesn't have to be exactly what I say, but you're like, word, here's my content that I have. You know, here's your one commercial. Like, it's like someone says, you know, by the end of today, you, you know, you got one commercial the whole planet set, sees. You know, think of it like that, you know. Doesn't have to be so on the spot. Do, do, just remember, my, my example, I didn't mean to focus so much on the on the spot part. More on the, like, you know, if given the opportunity of, you know, within the day, you know, within the week or whatever, everyone's going to see your stuff. You know what I mean? Like, are you prepared? That, 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 that's, just so you understand, that's the, the, the point I was trying to make there. Not the, not, not the immediacy, just the, the fact that if you're prepared for it, then you're ready to rock when, when, your oppor when opportunity arises. Because that's how this game works. You don't know when your opportunity is going to arise. You don't know if all of a sudden Mr. The, the, the creator of Destiny goes, you know what? Man, I would love to get just the, the... I would love to just have a consultant, a one-on-one -on -one guy, of just a guy that plays this game and hangs out, and just, just a regular dude that plays this casually. I want, I want to be able to have him as a one-on-one... -on -one. I want to consult... You know what? Let me just click someone random in this directory. Hmm. Bam. How's it... Hey, Dante, what's up? How's it going? And you're like... Uh, hey. Uh. You, you know what I mean? I'm playing this game, I guess. You, you, you know what I mean? He's going to be like, okay, next. And little do you know, your life just, your, 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 your life's dream wafted by you without noticing. Where your answer could have been like, oh, hey man, how's it going? Yeah, actually I've been really working on this crazy Destiny dust up and, you know, tournament event. And uh, I got a lot of streamers that are into it. I got such and such talk to me, such and such talk. You know what I mean? Like, like I was talking about. Think about it like this. Here's, dude. I got the ultimate example for you right now. The ultimate example. I, through my being proactive, being charismatic, and being kind, and making sure my content is always out there, free, available, helpful, and useful, and being proactive with the people I wanted to speak to, my. Favorite streamer, meaning streamer, more more my favorite podcaster, not, not streamer. My favorite podcaster, not counting with Joe Rogan, because come on, come on, come on, bro, come on, bro. No, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> I'm just joking. But seriously, my favorite, my favorite podcaster, who is one of the reasons I actually do this, because he gave me the uh, like the like you know like the kick in the butt where I was like whoa, like the inspiration. I thought whoa, those kind of like I've been telling people. All the ideas you have, if you're not already working on them right now, you're failing. You've, you've lost. And your only chance to stop losing, and tell, think about it like it's your last minute, the only chance to stop losing is to start the idea that you have, whether it's, yeah, I'm, got, I'm thinking of doing that stream from the Xbox, whatever it is. You have to start it right in a second, bam, right now. You know what I mean? Because if you haven't already, it's, it's, you're never going to. It's just you're lying to yourself. And it, the bummer, you know what the bummer is? Most people... That's the whole thing. Is they're lying to themselves. So, so I can say this a hundred times that people are gonna be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it, bro. Dude, I get it, bro. I get it. I get it, bro. And you know what they're saying right after the episode and after I say good night? Maybe one out of twenty goes, time to do it, brother. 
and they sit down at their computer. They put on they put on you know headphones and they bust out some jam and they're just like yeah. oh. and they just start creating and they're editing videos and they're and they're and they're creating accounts everywhere. They're going to every social media. They're making sure all of their all their all their replays, all their thirty second clips, they're quality, they're high quality. They've edited them. They they branded them. They spent all their they they just do that and they keep pushing it out and they press out more. What's up, Rachma? And they press out more and they don't stop, right? Those people, though, that's a winner and they're going to go and they're going to have a shot. But guess what? The, the another 19 people that are like, JT, t t you know what, bro? You're freaking right, dude. You're right. And then they're like, you know what, bro? You're, you're right. You're right. Dude, you're right. Click. You're, you're right. You're right. Oh, Ellen, you are funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, what it do now? You know, and it's like, that's what ends up happening. They go off and watch some stupid show, you know, and it's like, they're like, Maury, is it going to be your son? Is he the father? It's not, it's not the father, is it? It's not the father. It's not the father. Oh, he's dancing. Ah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's it's funny, but it's like that's the problem. Is there's so many people that are like, dude, I'm I'm ready, but they're not, and it's a bummer. So, all the people that are ready, or and when I mean ready, and, and, and to me, ready is you've already been slamming on it. <laughs> I can um, have you. Were you having trouble streaming today, like like sir? Ah, uh, yes. It's keeping me online, but a lot of people weren't seeing me online. It looks like, aimbot. It looked like tons of people weren't seeing me when I popped on. Um, but that's, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm right in the middle of the podcast. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, I don't, like I said, I don't want to jabber on what I'm, what I'm basically done with, uh, no problem, brother. Um, what I'm basically done, uh, just to kind of give a little, little peek towards, like I said, what I'm thinking about for the future and things I'm planning on doing is, oh, here we go, some of my predictions as well. Um... The Mixed Play Innovations is going to be the golden, golden opportunity, guys. A Aimbot, you guys should listen to this. Because today is the, the one-year anniversary of Mixer. There's a lot of updates that are going to be rolling out over the next few days. I've been talking about them. I just went over most of them. I'll be continuing a little bit more before I end. Mixed Play being a major thing. Because the, the interactives that they had, they're rolling that into something called Mixed Play, which is already out. You've seen, you've seen the, the, the silly golf game and all that stuff. But they're going to be creating more and more and more games with that. And it's going to be a bigger part of Mixer in the next coming months and next year. And I think, honestly... If you aren't right rocking and rolling, you know, Here's Johnny. Johnny, if you aren't right up in that, smashing through that door, baby, um, for the golden opportunity for tech-savvy creatives and broadcasters, um, it, 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 it cur currently, because I've got some of my notes here, currently it took the interactive board and it, it put it on the screen. That's what I remember I was talking about this earlier. Um, that's what they did with, with like a lot of the interactives with, with mixed play and stuff. Instead of it just having those big ugly buttons at the top bottom, they're going to have some buttons that are going to be on screen. I already covered that already, but that that is a game changer, people don't realize, because people are going to creatively make that look so cool and make that look so interactive. That is going to change everything. So if you want to have success in the upcoming months and you're someone that's taken the second step, because remember, your first step, you don't need the tech. When I talk about this other tech stuff, please, to the people that are starting new and don't have the tech, don't think that's like, oh, well, I don't have that. I'm screwed. Don't think that because that's stupid. This is just for the next step. It's just like, hey, you, you're learning basketball. Guess what? You learn the layup. You're not done learning basketball. You then learn the hook. And then you learn the jump shot. And then you learn the triple shot. You know, you, you, I mean triple. Good God. You know, then you learn your, your, your three-pointer. You, you know, it's just like there's more to the game than Got it, got him, I, I learned it. You know what I mean? There's so many nuances and things to learn. And, bro, and for my homie in the room, bro, zero viewers every single time. Water or Daunted, I don't know, one or the other, Daunted or whatever, whatever you prefer, Daunted. Um, every time, zero view. Is a time is 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 a time that you sh you went out. Okay, you're trying to learn basketball. You you I mean learn learn you know learn how to play better basketball. You go out and you spend a half hour shooting layups, right? And you're shooting two two pointers over and over, right? It's not like you go, oh, 
guess what? When I shot my 13th, 13th shot, that's when I learned how to shoot it better. You know what I mean? Nobody can do that. No one has that ability. That's like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? No one has the ability to be like, I've learned it. I, it's, and don't get me wrong, I'm just crazy self-aware and I constantly say things similar to that, but on, a, on such a smaller level because that's like impossible. But like, 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 I'll do something, I'll be an OBS for a while, and then later on that, like, I'll go to bed and I'll be talking to, I'll be like, Missy, I feel it's so cool. I, those like three hours I spent just messing around with OBS, I, I know that I'm better with it now because there's things that I learned that I went, whoa, I didn't know this, whoa. And that happened so many times that by the end of it, I was like, whoa, I'm better at this. I know I am. I, I now know this better, even though it doesn't. it's hard to be aware of that sometimes because all it was was me just fiddling around with a program that I used for a couple of hours. That's essentially all it was. But you know what that ended up turning out to be was an, inten an intensive training program on a on a on a piece of an application or a piece of equipment or software in, in a field that I want to be better in. That's exactly what that was. But it doesn't seem like that. But that's what it is. So if you're spending two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours in a zero viewer stream, but you're doing it correctly, like you're speaking to the chat, and dude, it sucks, but you need to talk to nobody. Like when I start off my stream, and I don't even know if anybody's in the room yet. I start off anyway, and I'm like, hey, everybody, what it do? It's JTT, and it's your, you know what I mean? I start it off even before people show up, because then it gets me in the vibe that even if one person's in the room, I talk like there's a hundred. Even if there's a hundred people in the room, I talk like there's a hundred. You know what I mean? If there's a thousand of people in the room, I talk there's a hundred. I always just assume, you know, there's a hundred people in there, you know? Nothing crazy, nothing under. Just, just assume there's a hundred at all times. Plus, here's a trick that I actually, it's great, because I use this myself. And this helped me at the beginning so much at the beginning. Like, I'm telling you, this. I, I hope that you go, holy crap, this really helps. Because it does, dude. You, you, you have two ways to do this. Think of every piece of content. Like, when you turn on that button and you go for it, think of it like this. Yo, I'm going to reuse this later. Like, I'm, I'm recording this, and I need to repurpose this content for later use. If you think of it like that, then you can put on a show to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that dope? Because then you could be like, hey, what's up, everybody? Like, think about when you're making a YouTube video. You're not doing it live, but you're acting like you are. You're like, hey, what's up, everybody? It's, it's you know, it's daunting. And we're going to get deep in that Destiny 2 action. Have you ever seen me go crazy with a hand cannon? Because you're about to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, bam. Bam. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you know? So it's like, you know, that's how you rock it. You know what I mean? That's how you rock it. And, you know, it, but that's, but of course, that's, that's my style. It might not be yours. That's my style. Learn your style. Plus, remember, like I said, being hyped, that's just me. But some people will be like, yeah, man, we're about to get deep in that wild, wild Destiny 2 action. We're about to kick back and do a couple of raids and bring in all my brothers and sisters to a sweet, sweet win. Is everybody ready for that wild, wild, wild hand cannon action? Because you might be able to see it tonight. And I will see you there at the crazy Destiny dust up as every night at Mixer.com don't do what it did. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's all up to you. You know what I'm saying? But you do what you want, and and, and wh whoever you are is like me. You know, I'm a I'm a good actor. Like I I, have, I, I like to flip between seeming like I'm wicked angry, like ah, even if I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I can be like, hey, what it did, man? Yeah, yeah. It was sad. Uh, where. You know what I mean? Just joking around. You know what I mean? Like, I can be goofy or, you know what I mean? But, like, but not everyone can do that. Those are my strengths, so I use them, you know? But some people, you know, they have other strengths. And some people, like Shroud, let's use a crazy, huge, mega, mega stream that everyone knows. That cat isn't entertaining. You know, some people will disagree. That's fine. But he doesn't have that hype, fun. And he's chill. Don't get me wrong. Some people like that. But that's the thing. He's chill. And then he, he's 98% game. And that's fine. Because, dude, you know how many people come on and they're like, dude, I don't care. I don't even want to listen to these guys talk. I just want to see some dope gameplay. That's fine. Because that there's that that's that's a value. <laughs> that's a major value in this this you know in this world. You know what I mean? In this in this community. That's that's such a value. It's unbelievable. So. But uh, but anyway, you know I don't want I don't want to hammer that 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 in too much. Um, I've said this already, but I'm gonna pop back into it the, right, as I'm as I'm kind of given the final uh, final synopsis of, of of most of my points or um, a summary of all my points at the end. Um, the summer, like I said before, was gonna explode with all of us content creators with skill at, or and or pre-existing communities will hit. 
gold due to viewer increase, Mixer increasing its value through through um, you know uh, the 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 mix play and all that stuff through the through the value increase through Mixer, the the viewer increase and the Mixer summer at, uh, advertisement campaigns. Those are going to explode. That is going to explode everybody. And what I mean gold wise, I don't mean money. I mean gold is in what they're looking for exposure. Your content being exposed to everyone. That's to me the whole point. You want people to see what you can do. It's not about making sub revenue. It's not about that. It's a, it's about the exposure. The other things can come in the future. Because guess what? It's never, ever, ever, ever going to come if you don't have high quality content. So you may as well only, only, only focus on that. Because if you're thinking about like, where do I get my button? And how do I get money from people? You already lost. You already lost. Because that's like trying to say, hey, how do I get money for a burger that I never cooked? You know, guess what? No one's gonna buy a burger uh, on credit. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get that burger later. Here's the money. Go cook it. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. You know, it's never. Gonna, that's just, just, you know, it's just, it's a killer, man. Um, well, there you go. There you go. You know how major that is. If you have a computer and you're good with the computer and you're good with IT skills, you not only can be you not only can increase the value and skills of your own streaming and stuff but remember this is a whole this is what I want to really want to start uh, reminding people about because I think it's something that people will find a lot of value and in, in, in relevancy in because they didn't think about it yet and, and then it just realizing wait a minute there's a, this world it's kind of like what I said going to packs seeing all the people seeing all the games seeing all, just just the color the vibrancy the life all my passions rolled into one. Everything I love from even even you know get card games, Magic, The Gathering, D and D, Battle Royale. Everything I love was right there, and I and I felt a part of it. And I felt wow, right around the corner. Maybe maybe next year, and not maybe. I mean next year, I want to be there with my crew. And then the following year, I want to be up on the stage giving a goddamn you know uh, speech. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's what I'm thinking. That's where I want to be. And when I do these talks and stuff like that, this is practice for that. I want to do 200 of these so that I can do one of those, you know? And I'm going to do 200 of these with as much value as I can provide and, and making it and making it not just, yeah, I'm talking about random stuff. No, no. These are useful things that I've spent hours of my life thinking about using all the skills I have at my at my disposal, all the experience I've had in the crazy life I had, and, and, and the, tech, the tech abilities I have to, to, to gather this information and to find it and to, to use it. All these things I put together so that people can consume it, use it, get, get, get use out of it, relevancy out of it for free so that maybe 10 years from now, People start going, yo, dopest podcast for learning how to do this stuff. And and, and, then, and I realize everyone listens to it. So that 10 years from now, someone's like, yo, everyone, of course, dude, if you are a streamer, you've listened to every episode of Mixin. Because, yeah, those first 10 episodes were raw. Yeah, they were a little rough. Yeah, they, they were bad quality. Stuff because, you know, because I was just starting off. But that's how it's supposed to be. I want it to be like that. I want to be like, dude. You're on episode 250. Do you remember back when you were talking about episode 250 during that year? Like that's that's in my mindset. That's what my plans are. That's what I'm. That's what I see in my mind, and that's what I'm going to create, guaranteed. And that's and, and unless you have, absolutely, I would love it. that. I absolutely see that as a as a future opportunity that's totally viable. Absolutely. I think I can grow here. I can grow with this platform long enough throughout the next year to grow long enough to become partner, to then be able to then un become part of that, the deeper inside community of Mixer, to then under have them see what I have for skills because I know I have a level of skill and a level of social ability that most people don't have. And it's not me being narcissistic, and it's not me being a jerk. It's me being truthful and understanding my skills. I know, it, I, my whole life, ever since I was a little kid, if I tried something, if I tried it, like, to, like, hey, I want to do this, I'm trying, I always become good at it. 
It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's freaking picking up trash or shooting baskets. It doesn't matter what it is. I become crazy good and fast and skillful at it. It's always happened. And I've realized that. It's not like, oh, I know. I'm like, oh, wow, I feel like I have a magic power. I've always felt like that. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. I always go, you know what, I'm going to be good at that. And then I try it, try it, just get anyone else. You suck at it, and then you keep doing it, keep doing it, and all of a sudden, hey, I'm good. It's like Fortnite. I remember when I sucked at Fortnite. And everyone else was horrible at Fortnite. I remember. I was so bad. So bad. And then, and now I'm good. You know what I mean? Just That's what happens. You know, that always happens. And I'm like, okay. I'm doing that. I'm just that. I'm doing that with streaming. But streaming isn't just. I'm going to get good at pushing on a button. No, that's not. You know what I mean? It's, that's silly. What it is is getting good at. You know, learning on. How, you know, what what are the current trends? I want to be. You know, I'm good at following what's useful. One of the things I'm weak at, and it's just because, and that's a huge thing too. Knowing your weaknesses, and that's why I bridge. I'm branching out and asking for help from other people and and, and creating a team because I want to. I want to be able to go. Here's my strengths. Here are all my best abilities. Let's put me there, right? Because I have a weakness here and a weakness here. Let's put you there, you know? Like, like, like I it, because then that team can do so much. Like, if I, I, I just, I can, I just can't, I just can't wait till the time and enough people come by, come into my radar and start, and I start seeing until I can create a team of like-minded homies. That, that all want the same thing, but also have the level of passion, because that's it, man. I was talking about this recently. That's what I'm looking for when it comes to team crew. It's not, the, the, the straight up skills, yeah, like, you know, you come in with a freaking degree, and I don't, I don't care, but like, if you're like, yo, you come at me, like, you know, you, like, you write up some crazy thing, like, yo, I, I said, screw it, I was up all night, I just wanted to get my words out, but I didn't, I didn't want to say it to you, so I wrote up this five page thing about what I think. Like, that's what's going to make me be like, wow. You know what I mean? Because that's what I would do. I would be like, if I was listening to this right now and I was like, dude, I really want to be like, I'm part of that thing. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be part of that community. I want to see what's going, what's next. And I want to actually help with whatever's wrong. You know what I mean? Like, like, like networking. I'm, I'm good. I'm a good networker in the sense that I'm great with people and I love people and I think it's great. But I'm bad at, at like, I'm bad at not like kind of being being like you know like you know like the person like I like to be not hey I don't want to be the only person talking about this I mean but I like to be like one on one with the conversation I'm not a huge fan of being like part of the crowd like I hate having a conversation with someone while they're having a conversation with a bunch of people most people like that and don't but I I have trouble with that because I'm used to just talking so much so when I go into talks to people it's like yeah uh, 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 you know it's different you know what I mean so like that's a weakness for me so I have trouble with that. And that sucks because it's a weakness. It's a failure point, but that's great. I see it, and I'm I'm going. I'm lit. I have the tool set right out right now. I have the wrench out. I have the pliers, and I'm working on that issue. I'm troubleshooting right now. Either I'm I'm not only pushing harder in that in that area myself, as to make just to make that just to make myself stronger in that area, but I'm also branching out to people that are good with that type of thing that I can band together with. People like there's some people that are really good at like just kind of doing the thing and, and being kind of chilled out, and but also like kind of creating like a, you know people together in a community and talking, and but there's some people like that that can't be a badass, you know. And I don't mean that like they're wincing or I mean, nothing like that. But I mean like some people just can't be like, look, brother, this is what's going down because I said so. You know what I mean? Some people can't do that, and you need if you want a true community and you need a leader, your leader needs to do that. Your leader, any leader, needs to know when to throw down. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't throw down, then pfft, you know what I mean. Then you don't, you you can't be a leader because other people that can throw down are gonna roll over you. You know, and that's the thing. I I have so many so many you know values to provide, other than just leadership experiences, creatively and say so many things. So. I see all those. And I'm like, I can walk into walk into the table of a, of a team and say, look, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. But these two things, I know I'm not going to get the get the give you have to give the most from. And then I'm a good leader, so I can see a crew of people and say, but guess what? You're a bomb here. And if not, and if people work together, good partnerships, that can create literally something that can go anywhere. Like you can create. That's when you start creating a company, you become something. That's when you can grow. You can create something from nothing, 
by having like-minded people with passion working together because it's really difficult doing it alone. And that's something I've noticed even about my my channel stuff. I if you notice, I very like you'll see people host and stuff like that, but it's it's mostly just fun friend hosts and stuff and that's awesome. I love that. But you'll notice it's very rarely like heavy person raid hosts. And honestly, even though it's kind of a bummer because that keeps me lower in the directory sometimes and but if you notice, I don't rely on that ever. I rely on literally exactly pure in my homies every time. So as it grows, as it grows, as it grows, there's almost no chance it's going to decrease. Because the homies that chill with me are my real homies, you know what I mean? They're not just, it's not just like, oh yeah, you know what I mean? Obviously there's, there's tons of people coming in now. But the people that come on the regular, there's, there's homies that have been here since like week one. You know, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, and I know there's all these other people that like have these like, kind of like host communities where they have only like three or four people that are actually like their community yet. They have all these friends that host them for four here, five here, three here, eight here. So all of a sudden they have, it looks like they're, they're like, hey, what's up? And you see their chat and they have 30 or 40 or 50 people. And you're like, whoa. But their community is like made up of like five people. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing. Like a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of these inflated communities that aren't, that are, that it's funny too because a lot of people are going like, oh, what's going on? Like I don't let that trick me. I see, I see it. I know how it works. And like, they don't realize if they didn't get those hosts and they didn't have any of those people bouncing back and forth off each other, that they almost would have almost nobody. Like, if you notice, I don't think, I think the hosting was messing up earlier. All the homies, the people that usually have 100 people or 50 people, had, when, I, when I came on today, people, all my followers, I mean, all of not the people I'm following, everyone, all the people I'm following were 12 and below. Dude, 12 and below. They usually have 100, 150, 80. They were 12, 11, 8, 8, 8. And I was like, and I think it's because the the usual wasn't working. They couldn't get all the hosts, and that's what I'm saying. Even the people that have a hundred, their actual communities. I honestly, I swear, I think are a little bit smaller than mine. I think I actually have a larger community than a lot of the people in, and some of the people that are partnered out there. But I stream in the middle of the night, and I stream for like like how long I've been on right now too. I'll end up gaming for another like six. You know what I mean? Last night I was on for what ten hours. You know what I'm saying? It's it when I stream, I stream for like ten hours, and it's a revolving door. So it's like people don't realize. Sure, when someone pops on for four hours and they have thirty people, that's pretty neat. But the fact that I have fifteen people, eight hours, revolving door, they don't realize that fifteen is more like a hundred, maybe two hundred. That's what people don't realize. That happens. Like, I, dude, I I'm a little closer than you think. I, I'm pretty like. I got months, and it seems like, wow, there's only seven, or, oh, there's only nine, there's only 13, but it's just, like, it's right, or, like, all I have to do is just say, okay, I'm going to take one day off every day, and just, just um, do networking, meaning spend time, promote my friends, show them support, and then more people will then show me host, host support, which is what I was just talking about. So if I wanted to, I could start pushing towards that and inflate my numbers a little bit, which I might start to do even just in, in just in a good way, like not not with that in mind, but just going, hey, okay, I'm gonna put myself out there more so that I can also help, like like my team homies, like I can start sending like like let's say I got four, five, whatever, eight, and then it sit and builds up to like nineteen at the end of the night. I go bam and hit off someone in my team with the raid, so I can basically start doing a little bit more even for people. You know what I mean? Like a read. Because I've been slacking a little bit on that. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks, Dante. Thanks. And uh, and that's kind of... And I and I hear that fairly often. And it's such a bummer that a lot of times that like someone will say that, all of a sudden I won't see him for a while, and then they'll come back and be like, dude, it unfollowed me. Like, what the heck's going on? Like, I get really, really screwed over by some of the tech problems. Like, Bob... Bob was here like, every day, all the time. Every day. Every day. And then all of a sudden disappeared for two weeks, right? And then came in one day and was like, oh, man, so you're streaming again? And I was like, what are you talking about? I've been streaming every day for two weeks. And he was like, what? You know what I mean? Like, what? Like, a f that means like a friend, a follower, and he's a mod now, who chilled every day. Thought I was gone for two weeks. What about the people that just met me that are like, oh, that was cool. I can't wait to see him tomorrow. Oh, I guess I doesn't stream anymore. Like, how many people have I lost over these, like, five months, you know? I ha I I'm 100%. 
if every single thing worked perfectly, I would I would have the numbers. I would have the numbers by now, guaranteed. It'd be easy. You know what I mean? It's like it's just the, the amount of loss is, dude. Months ago, the numbers used to be thirty, right on the regular. We used to be twenty to thirty, very quickly every stream, every stream. You know, and then I took two weeks off. Everyone left. And that's how it works. Because you have to... every Dude, every week is like three months. Taking a week off of streaming is like three months is taking off streaming. Straight up. You know? You gotta think about that too. And, and you know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do? Didn't take all that time. I didn't just stay... Didn't go hard on my socials. I didn't take my phone out and just start doing IRL streams. All that stuff. Oh. And... I, I, I did notice that, by the way, Softkill. I'm going to start doing some more IL rail streams. And this is something, I'll, I'll just bring this up real quick, because I don't want to go more than two hours on this at all. Um, I'll cover real quick. Mix I already covered that. Mix play will make or break. Okay, real quick, the other prediction before I go too deep. Mix play will make or break new and old casters. Time to keep up and roll the punches. Because the new mix play stuff... Oh, I'm going to be playing games. I'm going to switch into games. I'm just going to be going off the podcast. Um, mix play, like I've been talking about all night. It's going to, jeez, freaking fur is getting crazy. Um, it's going to make or break the new world casters, man. People that can't stick up with it are going to fall behind. And I'm talking even the big guys. I'm talking the partner, the big boys. If they don't, if there's people that snuck in just because they were big on Twitch or they were big social media or they have a lot of real life friends, right? There's all, oh, look at that. I wonder if Dribble randomly got unfollowed and now he's following because look at that, right? <laughs> I wonder if it happened right now. Cause look at that. I wonder if it happened right now as we're talking about it. Cause that'd be hilarious. Like dribble, what's up? Man, this is like driving me crazy. My freaking face. I wonder if I have to move the back. I feel like it's the vibration. It's making my face literally look like itch like crazy. Right? See, just so everybody knows, everybody listening, we've been talking about the issues, right? As we're talking about it, dribble gaming randomly unfollowed and then it followed and then unfollowed mid midstream. If so, that means. So think about that, guys. Think about all the friends that that's happened to that aren't actively watching me or tech savvy or paying attention, that now are unfollowed. So when I come online, it doesn't show them anymore that I'm here. And when they look at click like, hey, let, let's see who following streamers are on, I won't be there. Like in a game where just like five or 10 people can make or break, that screwed me and has been screwing me so hard. It is, it's psychotic. It's psychotic. Like, like it just sucks that their tech problems are, have li are, are, are taking actual hours, days, maybe weeks of my life. It's unfair because I'm putting that much time in and then it's just getting whoop, whoop, wafted, just whoop, pissed away like it's nothing because of a tech issue. You know? It, it's, it's that, that is probably the worst part of, of streaming, Mixer, all of it. That's, that's the part I hate. Like, I hate it. Like, it's, like, literally, like, I, I hate it. It's the only thing I, I that like it disgusts me because it's like hey look at every single thing that matters now just got thrown out the window like nothing. You know what I mean? Like th isn't that so frustrating? It's like spending all night on a paper, all day, all night, all week writing a novel, and so your only page and then oh, oh whoops out the window someone someone just decided to throw it out the window because they didn't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. It happened to soft kill a long time ago. It happened to every dude. It happened to people every day now. It's happened every day. Like I said, the past week, when I come online, ah, God, before that, 15, right away, right when I clicked it, right? Now, two, and it's just, it doesn't make any sense. Man, I, this is driving me nuts. I like, I'm gonna have to like wash my face or something. This is like, I don't know if it's the fur or something, but like, it's literally driving me mad. It's like, oh, I feel like a, a, a feather is just like, brrr, like tickling my face. It's driving me it's psychotically. Um, whatever happened to Twitch server and switch to Mixer? Um, oh no, bro. So funny you say that. Just just before we stop, um, about that, just, but Twitch is still killing, killing it. Uh, Mixer is about four, four to five percent the size of Mic of Twitch. They're, they're big. They're big. I just don't have any, I just don't have any thing to do with them. You know? That's just not my vibe, baby. It's not my vibe, baby. But, uh, I see the cat. I see the cat. 
that's weird. Oh, but anyway, so let me get, let me get, let me pass this final little thing. Mix play, new and cast, well, punches, we know about that. It's going to make or break people. All the two people that aren't tech savvy that snuck in are going to have a bit of trouble because if they can't roll the times, then they're going to have some issues. Um, so anyway, uh, next time we're going to be talking about um, the directories because I can't go into that now. It's getting too late, but it's either going to be, it's either going to, next episode is either going to be with one of my homegirls on here with fellow streamers or we're going to be talking about organic networking and all the stuff within that or uh, depending on if, if, if I do an episode before then or not, um, it's going to be about directories and the unethical and ethical practices within because I know that sounds kind of funny and a bit like, you know, grand, grandiose, but it's true. It's freaking true. Uh, people can be scam artists and weird and shitty and clickbaity and weird. And you can also be very honorable and a good person on here. It's easy. And I'd like to bring that up as well. This is something I just want to start, start also bringing up that matters. Um, there's people out, like us streamers out here and, and video game homies and stuff. It's starting, the world's starting to change, right? And I, I hope this really gets to some people out there. The world is starting to change. And entertainment is starting to change and entertainment value and streaming is becoming very popular and being a streamer and becoming a popular streamer can you can become a very strong influencer, not only in the world of like marketing and people and advertisement, but an influencer in people's lives, whether it's just uh, advice or they're young and you know they could be young role model stuff. Now now other than the obvious things of that, we um, we have this unique opportunity to Show that being a good person, and I mean this, I, God, I mean this, being a good person and doing the right thing is, is, can be the right way. Like, you know what I mean? Most people, like, people for too long have thought, well, that's how you win. You know, you win by being the businessman, the shark, you know what I mean? The snake, you know? Being the best snake in the grass is the way you win. You know, that's how, but, but that's not true anymore. And that's what, that's what people need to, we need to remind everyone that now. Because guess what? There's homies, and I'm going to say me right now. There's people like me and badass people that are coming, that are right on the horizon, that are going to start being pillars of these new communities, these gaming communities, this new entertainment. There's going to be new pillars of these, right? And I'm exactly brother. And I'm going to be one of those just along all the other people out here working hard towards this stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is all going to be a thing. And I'm telling you, we need to remind ourselves this isn't the time to be like, yep, now now we made it or, we, or we're in a spot of, you know, where we can be an influencer. You, that you can't be like, yep, now time to be about me or time to just get... That's the moment to be like, okay, this is that moment in time where all of a sudden they're like, would you make the right decision? You know what I mean? Like that moment in your head that you never knew that all of a sudden, wait a minute, yeah, one year, brother... You know, and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, this is Mixer's, Mixer's one year anniversary. Um, you know what I mean? You have to you think, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get it? Yes, I'm going to Yes, this is not my, not my one year, but the one year, you know, of Mixer. You know? Yeah. Um, but, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to get into too crazy of a um, of a rant with it. Because I, I think I think it's understood that being a good person is important. But what I mean is there's going to be people taking that next step that are going to be in positions of influence. And the new streamers and the, and the broadcasters out there that are starting to blow up and that are getting to be in these positions, I know some of them are already yeah, about positivity. And, 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 and as a side moment, it's like, and I'm going to say this to everybody, come on, guys. We all get it. You, 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 read in, you read in Hoyle's Guide to Be a Good Streamer, you, you're supposed to throw on an inspirational freaking quote on a good morning every day. Come on, guys. It's like, I swear, half these streamers out there aren't even writing stuff they made up. They're going to, they're going to websites that are like coolquotes.com, copy-pasting it, throwing it on their Twitter, and they're like, aren't I really uh, genius and creative? Time to do it, guys. Much love. And it's like, come on, man. It's starting to sound fake. And it's getting annoying because I've like I turn my feed on and it's 17 people being like saying the exact same whack inspirational quote that everyone knows. You know what I mean? It's like it's whack when it's like oh uh, we got a long time we got another like six or seven months. But you know what I mean? It's like you can't be like you know you can be like yeah man I'm all about you know remember guys 
just putting in the work is really hap you know is really is is really worth you know really worth it in the long run brother so don't give up and then you scroll down and it's like bro don't give up because pushing and pushing is the way to do it my dude good morning next post brother good morning i'm drinking my coffee and just keep it going and you're like all right guys you know you, you know it's like dude Stop, guys. All you guys out there, please, guys, my fellow friends, my fellow streamers, my fellow broadcasters, you're, you're, you're starting to fall into something, and, and, and even the guys out there, this is something I've noticed, even the biggest guys out there, are, are they're, they're still not as savvy. There might be savvy on Mixer and, or got lucky or whatever, but they're not as savvy on social media in any way, and they think that just, oh, yep, I, I, have, to, I have to put out my daily bull crap motivational thing. Now, don't get me wrong, like me, Everything I just said tonight, it just we're off the cuff. Other than you know, like my notes saying, like, "Hey, this is this is a topic I like." But all stuff is, you know, off the cuff stuff that I care about and matter. And it's not like this pre-written, copy-pasted motivational thing. And I mean, that's fake. So if anybody gets any sort of advice or any sort of value, use, relevancy, or even motivation from this, then that is awesome. But that's just because it happened, not because I'm like. Okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? This is just what comes natural, and this is what I've been wanting to create. So, um, so either way, I think I covered basically everything I wanted. Um, I think I'm going to do a quick little bonus for a couple of the, the homies out there that have been wondering about some of the math out there. Uh, let's, let's, I'm going to point out something kind of funny right here, just to play with it. This isn't a yes or no. This is, this is nothing. I'm not even going to say why this means anything. This is just for anybody out there that understands it a little bit. Take this little piece of math before the end of the night, because um, I'm going to say this real quick and then I'm going to head out, I'm not head out uh, from the show, I'm just going to head out from the podcast, because that'll be the two hour mark. Um, here's a basic guess point on people that are like, dude, 50 concurrent viewers, what the heck, blah, 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 this seems crazy, blah, 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 this, no one does it, this, that, that, okay. Now here's some math right quick. Mixer, on their website, if you go through all their stuff, it looks like they assume the average view, the average view time of the average stream for the average person is going to be about three to five hours. So using that obvious little bit of information, let's just give it four hours. So the average view, that the average show time should be, in Mixer's eyes with people there, four hours, right? So they want you in four hours to have 50 viewers the entire time, right? So that must mean they want you to have 200 total hours of watch time, correct? Okay, so let's say you do an eight-hour stream, like me, often. That would mean 25 people the entire time, right? Because 25 and eight obviously is very simple math of 200 hours of watch time so doesn't it seem pretty obvious that if you have stream for eight hours every night and you only have 25 people you're actually doing the exact same thing as what they want when they say they want 50 concurrent viewers i'm pretty darn sure of it so anybody out there that streams eight hours every single day and has 25 concurrent viewers i'm pretty darn sure you could be a partner so anyway I, that could be bullcrap that could be insane that could be terrible bad math but you make your own decision on that one how's it going my friends that's another little insight from JT. I hope you liked uh, the podcast. I hope you liked the information. I hope you liked this one-year anniversary. I hope you liked anything here. Um, if you guys, man, I really, really, really hope you guys just tell your friends. Like, if you have a streamer friend that's like, dude, I want to stream, go, hey, I'm telling you, listen to this dude, because not only is he chill and you have a good time, but if you have any questions, you hit him up personally, and he will respond within the day. You know, it might be within the minute, or the hour, but guaranteed within the day. So um, if you ever guys, you know, I'm 100% I'm accessible, super, super freaking easy on everything, social media, everywhere, you know, wherever it is, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. JT for real though. J-T-F-A-R-E-E-L-D-O-E. -E. What it is, my dudes, word up. This has been a lovely episode of episode 17 of Mix It Up on Mixer, a live video podcast that we do on mixer.com slash JT for real though. Word up, my dudes. This has been the one year anniversary. One year anniversary of Mixer.com, talking about all the updates, all the innovations, all the jive, all the turkey, all the chickens, and all the spicy, spicy, spicy love that's going on on this wonderful, wonderful platform. I love you all. I love Mixer. I love this platform. I love this new world I've part I'm a part of. I love my life. I love my lady, and I love everything. And I love this year. And I'm all about love, baby. I'm all about, all about savagery and love. Charisma, community, combat. That's what Team For Real Doe is about, and that's what we're all about. And if you don't know For Real Doe, get to know For Real Doe. I will see you all on the other side.
Good night.